Hello, Bees Blurs. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. It is Friday, July 14th, 2023, and we are live at the Hive. All right. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a great night. I know I am because everything was set up and ready to go. And I want to give a special shout out to all of our veterans out there from the past who are currently serving and who are thinking about serving and who are going to serve. And a special shout out to all the law enforcement out there and all the first responders. And another shout out to all the truckers out there bringing us all of our goods. And a shout out to everyone that's working right now or you're driving down the road, you got, or you're working, you got your ear pods in, or you're driving down the road, you're not watching, but you're listening. You just, you just got to trust that I'm going to try to read as many comments as possible because when I start looking at the comments, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to make car up. I'm going to think about other things and think about 10 things at a time. And we're going to have a lot of fun. And we're going to talk about folding knives to die for. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It is Hive Day and I'm excited. Did you guys see that Civivi is having a sale? Did you guys see that Vosteed's having a sale? Holy freaking moly. Do you think we're made out of money? <laughs> I'm telling you. So now I look at everyone that's in here already. What's up to the channel members? Hello, James Alton, Dave Coolest, Tech Chat, Top Dog, Top Diggity Dogs in the Hive, El Cap Addict, D Professor's Critter, Critters. There's an S on there. What's up, Justin Ohio and Christopher Wheeling, Dwayne K, Thwack Job, Chris Hinkle, Ken Faulkner, James Alton, Sonny Robinson, El Cap Addict, David Tooley, BFV Gunner. Prado 24, NAF Collector, and I think I got most, uh, Tom Sheehan's in the hive, Rick Adkins. All right, I'm not going to go back any farther. <laughs> I'll just start repeating everybody, unless y'all want to hear your names over and over. I could do that too. What's happening, T-Fetch? And Matt McCallis. Wow, we have a lot of channel members in here. This is freaking awesome. What's up, Stephanie and Jessica? Stephanie and Jessica are in the hive tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun. I have a whole table of knives. And, you know, th for this week, we have something different. We have a freaking axe. <laughs> and, you know, for an axe, it came pretty darn sharp. I don't know that I've ever had an axe come this sharp before. And it has a nail puller and all that kind of fun stuff. But, you know, we'll get into all and more of that stuff as we go along. And let me put that back down over here where the knife cam goes. Lord Gillespie said, I scored two more Vostead kitchen knives on Prime Day. Oh, yeah, they were like 50% off. That was a really good deal. And if you're new to the hive and you're just lurking, like what in the world is going on right now? We talk about knives and anything else that comes up. We just don't talk about politics or religion. We just keep it nice and flat and easy going and, you know, fun. Just as fun. This is time to, uh, let's see, what does it say down at the bottom? It's Hive Day. We are live. <laughs> <laughs> it's too slow. We are live at the hive. Sit back, get a snack, flip a knife or two, and join in the fun. This is the place to be on Friday nights to hang out, have a good time, talk about knives, talk about gear, talk about gadgets, and you know, general adulting stuff because this is the place to be. Oh, wow, it has a couple of points on it. I didn't notice that. I'll be darned. Yeah, these little trinket things. These little, uh, what do you call them, uh, titanium doodads on Obi, they, a couple of them sold out really fast. What was the other one? I have another. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was wondering where I have my little, uh, what do you call this, my little pouch. A couple of the things on Obi I already implemented into my pouch, my small pouch. This is my little small pouch. You can see I have the, uh, brass, the brass mini O-pin, and then I have the bit driver. And, of course, I have my Civivi tack and tweeze. And then my trusty trink trinker, trinker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my mind just wait, makes up words. It's a tinker. Oh my goodness. Top dog said snack, check, knives, check. James Alton said the titanium keychain sold out quick. Yes, that's what it was. Like I hadn't had that video about an hour and people were like, dude, it's our, it's like gone. It's gone. <laughs> What's up, Barry Brosen? He said my best bud Beasley blades. How the heck are you? And everybody that's out there at work or you're driving down the road listening, I hope you're having a great night, despite the fact you're working. El Cap Addict said the, the Obi Titanium Bit Driver looked cool, but to me seemed sold out from early access. Well, here's the thing that I wish Olight and Obi and every company out there would do when they have something listed on the website. 
and it's not available yet, don't say sold out. They need a third option. They need one that says coming soon or releases on because a lot of people see my video, which comes out before the, the products are released to the public and they go and see, oh, it's sold out and they don't go back. Uh, Olight and Obi, you need to change that so people know that it's not yet ready. It's it's not sold out. It's just not available yet. And oh, wait a minute. Hold the bus. Bones, welcome to all. Oh, wait a minute. We got to get the bell out. Got to get the bell. Bones, welcome to all access bees. All you channel members, give a warm welcome to Bones. And Laura Gillespie's been a member for 14 months. Can you hear me loud and clear? How's the audio? How's the lighting? You need more light. You need more. You need more. Look at this. We have a new. Yeah, check it out. We have a new O Lantern. This thing's freaking awesome. I have it on low for a little bit of ambiance. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? And you can mount this on whatever you want, tripod or something, or you can hang it. I don't know if I should have one or both O lanterns on. Check it out. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Maybe I could, maybe I could illuminate the. I don't know. That's not too bad. You guys tell me, top or top bottom or both O lanterns. <laughs> What's up, Dwayne K? P and W Fun Stuff's in the hive. Clarence Davis is in the hive. Barry Broza said, we need more blades. Good evening, Rob Rivera. How you doing? Looks like the old Edison lights. Yes, that's why I like them. They're old timey looking. Uh, Top Dog said, it's all good, bees. Let's rock. <laughs> Dwayne K got it. He said, man, I wish I had a, something that sounded like that. He said, needs more cowbell. James Alton said, great for tents. Dude, that would be perfect hanging at the top of the tent. And if you needed to crank this sucker up, I mean, whew, oh, yeah. That's all you need in a tent. Not to mention, I, I had it set. I have them sitting out. I'll take one or the other one, and I've taken them out and set them on the, the table. I just love sitting on the back porch. Both dogs are out in the yard chewing on some sticks, and I have that sitting on the table. And now that we have that mosquito catcher thing, we can actually set out on the porch at night and not get too live by mosquitoes, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Let me get that said. I got a free little flashlight from work that's not bad for a free. Oh, dude, free is a good price. PNW Fun Stuff said that is a nice shirt, bees. Thank you, man. I got this uh, to look professional at Blade Show when I was talking to different companies and things. I'm like, you know what? I am a company. I, I am an LLC. I want to have one official shirt that looks nice and it's a polo. And guess where I got this shirt? I got it on my own shop, Spread Shop, which you can go buy Bees Blade stuff, which when, listen, when Mrs. Bees gets in here, Remind her she needs to put all of our different sticker logos on shirts and paraphernalia so people can get the cool stuff. Uh, much live and family. Uh, oh, wait, whoa, hold up. Top Dog. He gifted five Bees Blades memberships. And guess who got them? Kirby Smith, K. Sess, Annoyed, Michael Warren, and Jessica Phillips all got Bees Blades memberships. Welcome to the Bees Blade Inner Sanctum. Um, and that's something else we're going to do is just so you know, I have one confirmed person has picked. A, we gave away four knives for members last week. We picked four people in the rules, black and white. It covered the whole screen in the member member video, the member giveaway video. It said that you had seven days to contact me. It said no exceptions. I went back and I was like, oh man, I didn't realize I was so stern with the rules. So we're going to be going by the rules. Two people may or may not get what they won. Can you believe it? That's some crazy stuff right there. That is some crazy stuff. And I'm going to check to see if they're in here. Let's see. <laughs> that person's not in here. And let me check the other one. That person's not in here. Okay. I went above and beyond. Okay. I'm putting it on record right here for all the world to see you for the rest of YouTube eternity. I went above and beyond something I don't ever do. And I went and responded to their comment on the video and said, Hey, please go to any of my videos and email the email you see there. I didn't do like, Hey, email me at this and give me your credit. I didn't do that. I went to their comment and said, Hey, 
Go to the Bees Blades email. Email Bees Blades. They didn't do it. So, two people, they don't have much time left, and they're going to be disqualified. And we're going to pick two channel members sometime tonight. On top of, on top of, because, <laughs> are you ready for this? I bet this person's in here. Let me look. Let me look. Oh, yeah. Kevin Search. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Cavity search. I got new good news for you, Broham. Uh let's see. Where where am I? Let me let me get down. I'm I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up. And <laughs> Josh Branson said, Ayo. Ed Harrison said, You snooze, you lose. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't realize I was see, there's a reason you have to have rules because I can't spend an hour trying to research and search down and figure out. That's why I always say you gotta contact me. If you're going to enter into something where you can win a hundred and I don't know, $80 knife and a, whatever is in there, you can take the time to go to the live stream and scroll until you see winners pick. That only takes like a minute to go. Oh, nope, 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 nope. It doesn't take much work. I mean, or if you're on the live stream, you don't have to worry about that at all. So anyway, David Tooley said, I'm here, bees. I'll send you an email with my address. Uh, what's up, Michael Warren? Top dog, you are the best man. Uh, Tay G said, Hey bees, how about a don't pry with this? Don't pry with this at home shirt at home. A spinoff of the old don't try this at home warning. Oh, you mean don't, well, I have something you could pry with right here. Look at that. And you know, uh, do you think it would look wor weird, word, word, word up? Do you think it would look weird if you just like ED seed an ax? <laughs> I mean, you can, you know, I mean, it, it, it goes on your belt. You could just EDC uh, an axe and a pry bar. Look at that. This thing's pretty cool from Obi. I don't know if they have any left. I think their sale is still going on. By the way, Olight, today is the last day of their sale. So if you're going to go check it out, use the link in the description of this live stream. That way I get some credit. That way I can buy some more stuff to show you all. Uh, where are we at? Don't pry with the tip, Dwayne K said. Stephanie said, I would wear the axe. Dude, this axe is so cool. It is really cool. Uh, Jay, Jason, you know, now I need a pouch big enough for an axe. <laughs> or I could just, uh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Um, let's see. I don't have anything. I was going to say, it could be, it could be a neck axe. You could just like this. You could have it. You could have a neck axe hanging. Just oh yeah, it's just that's my neck axe. You know, just kind of need need to chop on something. Robert Feely said, I wanted to buy the black titanium mayhem, but 249 doll hairs is a little steep for me. <whistles> yeah, that's kind of steepish. Scout can carry that axe. That's uh Michael Warren said that's a fireman's EDC. Sonny Robinson said, No, I have to conceal carry that axe. Hey, it'll go under your shirt. Just <laughs> if you use a regular EDC chain it's going to cut into your neck. You'll have, you'll have like an ingrown, ingrown collar type deal going on. Kenneth Dovich said the ax for so many activities. You got that right. I can't, you know, I can't wait. I'm starting to get caught up. Every time I start to get caught up, <laughs> it goes right back, but I'm getting, getting more and more organized. The more organized, it, all you channel members saw how it looks, right? That's not quite as organized for me because on the other side was a mountain of boxes. That mountain of boxes I got, I, I tore down and cut up so many boxes today and got the whole area cleaned up. The more things are cleaned and organized, the more I can go and, and do something different and special. Aaron B said, I have seven spider codes now. Wow. Didn't expect I would ever have that many when I initially didn't like them at all, but never get rid of any of them. Oh, hey, you all. Um, let's see. Where, where, what in the world? Where, where, oh, there it is. Okay, so this is is the newest thing of my collection. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. And I don't just get it because it's black and red either. <laughs> Annoyed said, I watched your review on the corner yet from two years ago after I bought it on Obi. You have really evolved in, in an amazing way. Well, thank you, Annoyed. I'm not at all annoyed by that comment. I very much appreciate that. Salamando said, must be the subvert. What's up, BK? Hey, by the way, if you're if you're new here and you haven't 
participated or been to the live stream, the hive stream or live at the hive, you can, you can say something. You don't have to feel embarrassed. You're not going to say something stupid. And if you say, Hey, this is the knife I have, you're not going to be judged for it. Everyone is in a different place in their knife journey. I have expensive knives and I have cheap knives and that doesn't determine what I carry on any given day. Just so you know, like today I have a mid range knife that I've had in my pocket all day. It's a $50 knife from Civivi. It's the Civivi Chode. I mean the Civivi Gordo. <laughs> I like this little thing. This is one of the knives I've had on me today. Now I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I put to work today was my Manix too. I, I seriously put some work to it. Dawn Durr has been a member for four months. She said another Friday night in the high. Best place to be. I would have to agree. Michael Drew said, don't pick on my penguin. Brian Kerr said, hey, guys, remember to stay hydrated. My uncle passed away on a job site today. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it has been very hot. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Salamando said, get ready to have your embarrassing things read aloud for the Internet to hear. <laughs> Uh, what's up, Kelly O'Neill? How you doing? Alicord Paracord's in the hive, dropping some linkage. Um, and if you see these links dropping, these are links that are already in the description below. They're making it easier for you. And um, that way, if it's something random, if you're going to go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works, by the way, I bought this at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Just so you know, this shiny spider co, whatever could it be? <laughs> yeah. It's what I'm talking about. Um, somebody, who was that? Somebody, Aaron B said, Amy and B's, I carried the Sabinja yesterday and the Sin Cut Slashkin today. Ed Harrison said, what's in the box, B's? <laughs> I don't know. Should I reveal it? I was thinking about doing a short. I haven't even had time to make any shorts. I mean, I, I guess I need to, I'm way behind on the shorts game. Although I am wearing shorts right now. I just don't have time. Although you could really crank those out. Uh, Deep Professor's Critter said, you have a mermaid knife, Mr. Bees, the Holy Grail. But why, yes, I do. I absolutely do. Sin Cut Pocket Knife. There you go. There's Alice. Just put the link for the Slashkin up on there. If you're, here is this, here's the Sin Cut Slashkin. And all of its slashiness. This is the one with the fancy Gorsha wood. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Here is all the slash goodness. Hey, I'm telling you what, hit that link and go get you a Vosteed for 15% off. <laughs> it's Civivi. Oh, okay. Now, listen. The last time Civivi had their sale, every, a bunch of people jumped on it, right? And they couldn't believe. Did you see the video that I posted today about Civivis? You can stack my code on it and get 37% off of, of their knives. Like I double, I checked the prices. I went over and looked on, uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I missed something. Wait a minute. Whoa. I went over on Amazon and I was like, whoa, when you can get something from C Civivi that's way cheaper than you can on Amazon and it's free shipping, you know, something real is happening. That's, that's how you know something real is happening. Cause most of the time it's cheaper on Amazon. Ken Faulkner has been a member for a year and a half. He said, another great month of hiveness. What's up, brother Ken? Miss you, man. We only got to hung out for like two seconds. And JMC has been a member for two months. <laughs> Jessica Phillips said, I need to go to Emma. Alicord said, I will carry a $15 Rough Rider Angry Watermelon with my Plexus. BFV Gunner said, I missed that Spidey sale. Was going to get a pair of three to match my pair of three lightweight. Man, I love, uh, let's see, where is it at? I had it out here. This isn't a pair of three, but I'll tell you what, man, I, I want to get in on some more of the uh, the Spyderco seconds deals, but Spyderco had a big sale going on, I don't know, a week or so, a week ago or whatever. K Kelly O'Neill said, I have a Sativian today, a budget knife that punches above its class. Kelly, if you go to Bees Blades and you scroll over past all the tabs, community, about, and all that, you there's a... Uh, what do you call that thing? A magnifying glass. If you tap that, you could search my videos. Type in Sativian. I've I've reviewed over 50 of them. I need to really, I, oh, it would take so long. 
but I it would I should really one of these days maybe if I could get no it would be easier for me to do it. I would really like to make a playlist for Kaiser, a playlist for Savivi, one for Petrified Fish. That would take me a long time to do because that would mean going over I don't know how many videos I've done. It's 560 or something like that. 570. That would be exhausting. That would take an entire day. Oh, I don't I don't even know. Yeah, I'm all about, dude, Sativians are awesome knives. Lyad Hermelin said, can someone tell me how to join the giveaway? I'm new to this channel. Yes, someone will tell you how to do it. And by the way, speaking of giveaways, is Metal Complex live still? Go send him some bees love. Go tell him the bees fam loves you or, or something like that. Go say hi to Metal Complex. See what he's giving away. It, Enter, enter into a whatever. Oh, yeah. You, oh, no, you have to go to a website to enter. Uh, Melvin said, I can't find a Riot Karambit or a Stitch Ramlock. Well, I don't know where you find them. Jason Lee EDC said, drop it a quick line to say hi. I'll be back in a minute. What's up, Jason Lee EDC? Hurry back, man. Dwayne K said, did you get a pair of two and S90 VBs? Well, I don't know. It's a good question. Did I or did I not? JMC said, does anyone know where Mr. B's gets his knife cases from? Yes. I get them from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, that's where I get them. And then I I do the pull and pluck and you take your time and don't use a knife to cut them out because it'll it'll make them look janky. You have to take your time and use your pinky and it's a slow process. PNW Fun Stuff said don't reveal your knife bees, make a video first. I like the way you think, bro. Top dog with the $1.99, the two doll hairs. Thank you, Top Dog, for the two doll hairs. It's got a, got the honey warming up just a little bit, getting that glow to it. I don't know. Maybe I'll turn this one off. Let's see. I can turn that one up a little bit. Uh, no, that, that's kind of that's pretty good. I like that ambiance. BFV Gunner said three pyrites. Um, oh, NC is giving away three more pyrites. Okay, all right. Hopefully, somebody said hello to him. BFV Gunner said Metal Complex says hey. <laughs> that's awesome. Chef Rocky's in the hive. He says, who cares if he is live? He's probably arguing with himself. I know, but I wanted to say hello. Uh, Ace said, I'm back for the moment. Hello, hive. Hope all is well. Three knives giveaway, and it's a live giveaway as opposed to a dead giveaway <laughs> or a dead ringer. Uh, are you all having fun yet? Or, you know... We did not have pizza tonight. Now, Mrs. B's, when she comes down with Bogart, who was growing exponentially, exponentially, we'll tell we'll tell you what we had for dinner, but we'll do a snack check, too. Evan D said, happy Friday, B's, and everyone, just in time from work. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, here is the knife cam. Look at all this accoutrement. Look at all this stuff. And this isn't, like, there's more. There's a Hank. By the way, if Olight has any more of these Hanks, I'm telling you, for the price, you can't beat it with a stick. I like these thin Hanks. Some, <clears throat> Most of my Hanks are real heavy duty. They're kind of thick. I like how pliable and soft these are. These are, I think they're like $7.99, which is an excellent price. There's one of them. And here's the other one. Check that out. There's nice, oh, nice. O knife and O buy and O light, they've got their act together. They keep adding more cool stuff. And one thing I didn't do tonight was uh, check the resolution on the old knife cam. People are guessing what knife I got. BFB Gunner said my CDC Hanson showed up. The missus said it's so cute. <laughs> Why does she have to use the word cute? Although cute's not bad. Uh, Chris Evans said, is there an entry video for the giveaway? No, Chris, what we do here is I'll, we're, we'll do, we're doing more than one. Give, I always do more than one giveaway. Um, when it's time, I'll tell you a hashtag and everybody will flood the screen with the hashtag and then I'll count the hashtags. That's how we do it. Salamando said, Olight e-commerce company. Michael Warren said, rocking my Hanson too. David Tooley said, Hey bees, metal complex admires your facial foliage. <laughs> Ah, that's pretty good. Hey, MC, dude, you got to let yours grow out, man. You can do it. You can do it. Grow a, grow a beard, Metal Complex. Dude, you got to grow a beard. 
Evan D said, I want to get the Gober for my doggy. Does it work well? Yes, dude. Did you watch my video? I, if anyone wants to see the big dog and the little dog walking together at night, go watch the first or the second Olight video I did this week. I did an Olight video, then an Olight video, then an Obi video. Saturday and Sunday, I believe. Um, oh, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here talking to the screen. You can't even see my face. That's that's really good. That's that's real good right there. I tell you. Um, oh yeah, I was holding it up to the screen. <laughs> the Gobers are so cool. I really do like them. I'm all about it. And this little kit, you can put, you can put a an air tag in the center. It has a space for an air tag. See how it's hollowed out. Put an air tag on that bad boy and you can track your stuff. But <clears throat> yeah, these are awesome. And well, I have my, the clip is up there, but if you saw my video, I had this connected to, I think the big dog's collar. And I had one of these connected to the big dog's leash and one connected to the puppy's leash. And you can connect one to your the back of your collar and you can have them. You just cycle through red, blue, green, and then it flashes. And it all, also white, of course, but you can have it flashing. And you can do SOS if you want to. Or you can, if you have, uh, what do you call those things? Where you have the big holes in your ears? You could actually clip this to the hole in your ear. Be like, oots, 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 oots. James M said, I want a gober. I'm going to be giving more gobers away. Don't you worry. I've given two or three away so far. Welcome to all the new people, PNW Fun Stuff said. Yeah, look at that. It's a party in your pocket. <laughs> You can just clip that to your backpack or anything at night. You can have the any color light that you want flashing. You can have it flashing white, flashing blue, flashing green, flashing red. All the cycles. These things are pretty, pretty cool. I like them. And then here's a funny story. So this titanium, um, what do you call this thing? This titanium doodad. The, uh, the little... Uh, what do you call it? The keychain separator deal, right? Well, when I first got it, I couldn't figure out how to unlock and lock it because it said magnetic, right? So it had two of these small key rings on it. And I couldn't get it figured out. And I clipped something to one of them and I pulled so hard, I stripped the key ring straight. <laughs> Can't you not? <laughs> I was like, oh. I thought I broke it. I just no. The key ring couldn't handle couldn't handle my brute strength. James M said, "Put it on your dash and pull over a hot chick, uh, dude." Yeah, you you could literally have these. Well, it's just like the the O bulbs. They they'll flash. You could have that flash in red. I wouldn't recommend it. That'd be impersonating the police officer. That wouldn't be a good thing. Rambari said, "Metal Complex says hello." Also, he's in the bathroom right now. Uh, Zadikim said, what's up? Bees MC sent me. Just kidding. Just kidding. You're always priority stream. Number one. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Salamander said, that's a good way to go to jail. What's up, Jim Miller. He said, hello, bees bladers. JMC said mods. Anyone see my donation? Um, let me look, let me look, let me look. Fan funding. <clears throat> Let's see what it shows. JMC with the two doll hairs. He said, Mr. Bees, did you lose weight by any chance? Yes, Jay, I have. I've lost a considerable amount of weight in the last few months. I've been losing about 10 pounds a month. Thank you for noticing. I appreciate that. Thank you, JMC, for the two doll hairs and the super chat. Super chat. Um, I don't know why I don't why I don't see it. I'm looking on StreamYard. StreamYard's a little slow sometimes. Because usually when there's a donation, all the channel members put up a bunch of emojis. And that's what clues me in that I that there's a donation. Are, are my channel members, are, are you guys like just chilling out tonight? Not not popping up the emojis when, yeah, I, I don't know. But all I know is JNC, thank you very much, brother. You are the man. JMC said, I can tell. Congrats. Thank you. Matthew Baum said, Bees, what is the doodad with the compass? It is a whistle. It is a whistle. It is like an emergency whistle. Um, if you change filters, this filter will only show your last 100 fan funding. Yeah, I don't get 100. 
<clears throat> all right. Let me go back so I can see what you guys are all talking about. There we go. JMC said, they're slipping. Yeah. Kenneth said, my guess is that Spiderco in the box is the subvert. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of good guesses tonight. Bees, what is the doodad? Oh, yeah. So the doodad with the compass is this dude right here. <clears throat> it's called the O-Light O-Tackle something. The compass does work, and it's relatively accurate. At least I know it does show north, south, east, and west. And <clears throat> it's a whistle. You can go, tweet, tweet. Now, myself, I, I don't really need a whistle because I, I have one of those whistles you can hear a block away. I can whistle, I don't know. I can whistle like six or seven different ways. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Brian F., what's up, man? Um, let's see. Steve Sweeney said, go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You must be the Monopoly guy. Jim Miller said, Mannix 2 is my guess. Cool story. Um, there's a company I never heard of. It's called USA. Oh, my goodness. Somebody in here will know. USA Liquidators, something like that. They sell knives and gear and all that kind of stuff. USA Liquidators or something to that effect. But I bought a Manix 2 because they had one listed as the Manix 2 with the hologram blade. It showed up and it had a plain blade. I was like, so anyway, I bought this knife and the picture clearly had the so-and-so. Is there any chance this was a mistake and you do have one of the Spyderco Manix 2 with the hollow grind. And they were like, oh, we're so sorry. A third party posted the picture for us. And this is the thing. I, if somebody in here will can, can tell me what the company is. It's like USA Liquidators. They, they sell, I think they sell like ammo, all kinds of different stuff, but they sell knives too. Awesome customer service. He said, what's your return address? He's, he'll, I'll pay for the shipping and I'll pay for any future knives that, the shipping for any future knives you purchase for my trouble. Wow. I'm like, okay, I'll be shopping there again without a doubt. <clears throat> Midway USA. No, it's not Midway USA. It's something like liquidation USA. I don't know. They sell, they, they sell spider codes. They, they sell knives. It's not Midway. Salamando said, now that's what I call multitasking. I just keep him muted and watch for when he clears the table. <laughs> there you go. Um, you know, if I start to type it in, I might be able to tell you USA um, liquid, maybe I'm wanting to say it's liquidators. What is USA liquidators? Uh, da, 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 electronic TVs, mixed palettes. No, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. I'll, I'll have to go back and look at my email. Should have been prepared. Darn it. Bees don't tell everyone my secrets to success, Salamando said. White Mountain Knives is dropping a bunch of versions of the Vostied Mayhem on July 20th. $249. $249 here. White Mountain Knives and Vostied. That, that's Vostied's official drop day of the Mayhem. Um, let me look something up here. James Alton said, Manix too lightweight. Dude, I love my Manix too lightweight. Love, love it. I like it a lot. What am I looking at right now? I'm trying to read somebody's comment. Uh, sorry, y'all. I was reading a comment. And oh, check it out. DJ. Gifted 10 Bees Blades memberships. DJ coming in hot with the 10 Bees Blades memberships. Guess who got them? BK, Stephen Wallace, Tay G, Evan D, Salamando, Chris Evans, Blade Walker. Ooh, I like that. Blade Walker, Oliver Warman, Double D Tent, and Marco were all gifted Bees Blades memberships. And check this out. Experience Precision has been a member for 16 months. What's up, bro ham? He said, good evening, brother bees. Or he said, king bees. My bad. I was, I was uh, ad-libbing. 
<laughs> he said, e good evening, King Bees. See, you get my mind sped up and I start making up words and, you know, words are hard. Man, I've really been doing some funny goofs on, on videos and I'm just leaving them there. I'm like, yeah, that was funny. Salamando said, I probably, mi pro probably missed pocket check, but I'm rocking a ZT0640 today. Fresh acquisition. So tank-like. Oh my gosh. I got a knife. I got two knives in a couple days ago that maybe I'll be able to review in the next week or so, week or two, maybe they are the tankiest knives. <laughs> oh my goodness. That that's a little teaser. I'm just, Oh my gosh. Tomorrow is the jet stream pre-order. What already? Are you serial? The Punisher said, bees, have you reviewed the Hogue Elishowitz EX-02 folder? A friend of mine gave me one yesterday and told me it's a $200 knife. I have not reviewed it, but I bet it is a $200 knife if it's a Hogue. Let me get that. That's been a member for three months. He said, I want a Shaman or a Manix real bad. Yeah, um, people will fight you over which one's better. I still pick the Manix 2. It's still it's still my man. I'm telling you what, my Manix 2 cut so much cardboard today. It is unreal. This one, I use I used my favorite one today. I sliced and diced so much cardboard. I put this puppy to work, to work. And it just, man, it just oh, it's just so fun to cut with this knife. Man, it's so fun. I was like, oh, look, I have a basement full of cardboard I have to cut. Oh. <laughs> Brian F. said, hey, knife fam, don't forget our brother KC is dropping the pre-order for the jet stream tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, Let's see. James Alton said, I love the, my Manix 2. It's a workhorse. Aaron B. said, if the Shaman had a ball lock, it, I, it would be perfect. Let me get that. Yeah, man, this, this thing. It is, it is the bomb, the bomb.com. Look at that nice dirty blade. I've had this since, since my, my new knife journey began and boy, did I make a good decision? I, I, well, I would like to know how many hours and hours and hours and hours of knife YouTube I watched before I bought this knife. The Norman Invader said, just got my first Manix 2 yesterday. Very nice, dude. Aaron B said, bees accidentally called the petrified fish pedophile fish once. It was hilarious. <laughs> that would not surprise me at all. Not at all. Baby girl said, oh my, OMG, I love that knife. I'm going to get me a little bit of 91% alcohol and clean off the blade here. The the Listen, for all you out there that say, I don't like... I don't like uh, coatings on my blades, right? It depends on what kind of coating. Now, PVD coatings will wear off and scratch off faster. But the uh, DLC, Diamond Light Carbon, that, that is on the Spyderco, um, a lot of knives have the, the DLC coating. It is tough. I mean, it is tough. I've done so much, so much with this knife. And that coating is still strong. Look at that. Wait a minute. Focus. Focus. There we go. Would you look at it? Look at that beautiful edge. Who put that edge on there? Who did that? Who would want to put an edge like that on a knife? Ooh, mama. That's what I'm talking about. Would, would you look at it? Just look at it. Chris Evans said no coding. I like my S45 VN plain satin. Baby girl said, I have three blades, but I don't know what they are. Hey, that's all right. LC said, I'm partial to the worn look on a knife. Not a fan of polished. Uh, Aaron B said, I can't wait till Moo Maximet patinas. Oh, my Maximet patinas. Wayne said, don't coating slow down the blade as you cut stuff. Man, this coating, this coating is, is slick. It doesn't slow down the blade at all. D. Edelman with the 10 doll hairs. Thank you for the 10 doll hairs, D. Edelman. Oh, $10. We got to dust off the Amer hair. Thank you very much, brother. 10 doll hairs. 10 doll hairs or more get you the Amer hair. 
Whoop, whoop, whoop. And when you do a super chat, you get your name up in lights. Pushing the element. He said, Howdy, bees. I'd like to get a Manix too. Two. Which, should there have been a comma in there? <laughs> Just messing with you. Salamander said, DLC is much better than some painted on coatings. Is Cerakote similar to DLC? So, anybody in the chat have an answer for is Cer Cerakote similar to DLC? DLC is diamond like carbon. And Cerakote is, I, I, I figure, I'm pretty sure there's, there's probably heat involved with Cerakote. Not super familiar with Cerakote. I don't have any blades with Cerakote, which is, no, I don't think I do. I don't. Go figure. So I'm not positive about that. Uh, Matt McAllis said, I'd love to try a Manix 2XL, but just can't pass the weight. BFV Gunner said, Cerakote is ceramic heat cured aerosol applied coating. Zadikim said, in an alternate universe, the plot of Finding Nemo is different. Nemo gets kidnapped from a pedophile fish rather than a diver. BFV Gunner said, it could be used with, with very high temperatures. Sarah's coat? Yes, it's Sarah's coat. Top Dog said, Bees has given away a few Mannixes over the life of the channel. Uh, in the last month or two, we gave away three Mannix 2s. That was epic. I mean, that, that was epic. Uh, BFV Gunner said, I got a couple of pews with Cerakote, and it's awesome. Pew, pew. Uh, Aaron B said, Cerakote chips easily on my aluminum scales. Salamando said, I believe the Kershaw blurs with black blades are Cerakote. Is there a Manix 2 XL lightweight? That's a good question. I have a Manix 2 and a Manix 2 lightweight, but I don't know if there's an XL lightweight. What did I do? And thank you very much, D Edelman. D Edelman always comments on all the videos. He's a big supporter of the channel. Here, here is an example of the Manix 2 and the Manix 2 lightweight. I tell you what, the lightweight, it's really nice to throw in your pocket. It is nice having it lighter weight, but I, there's something about this solid feel of the regular, <laughs> the regular weight. Zach Attack said, Chris Hinkle just got a cool Manix 2 today. Oh, yeah? Uh, El Cap Attic said, I want a Manix 2 from you, bees and Top Dog. Heck yeah, top, Talk Dog. Talk Dob. Words. <laughs> Durable gun paint. Yeah, so, yeah, there's, uh, they, they both have the same blade, right? Not necessarily the same steel. Depends on which steel you get. But there, this one does feel more solid. It has a little more weight to it. BFV Gunner said, Cerakote will flake on aluminum if it's anodized first. It needs to be applied to raw aluminum. Aaron B said, I'm sorry, guys. I worked five 11-hour shifts back-to-back -back delivering a crap ton of Amazon packages this week. Words are hard. Dude, I, I love my Amazon people. <laughs> Zadikim said, I have titanium scales, a titanium cage, and a titanium milled pocket clip on my main X2. It's hefty now. Oh, I bet so. Joe Kasprick said, never ha held or touched a spider co. Yeah, this has a solid knife feel. JD for EDC said, Manix 2 is so underrated. Between the RSK and Manix 2 for best all around EDC for the month. Alicord said, I won the black CJRB Pyrite from B's Blades. And then one of the new pirate prototype CJRBs from Dave's Knives. How about them apples? That's some sweet action right there. Uh, uh, Salamando said, after finally getting a pair of three, they really do feel set apart for most knives. Spyderco, I mean, you do pay top dollar for them, but they are made well, and they, the steel has good heat treat. Derek just got his S90V pair of two, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Going back to the knife cam, let's see. It's 9 o'clock. We're still safe. I'm going to do a little switcherooski and come over here in the corner. Shoop. Top Dog said, I just checked the Spider Coast site. No Manix 2 XL lightweight, just G10. NAF Collector carried a Spider Coast police model for years, and it is still a workhorse. So here is the stuff that was on the channel. Here is the new Sin Cut, the Slashkin, the Sin Cut Slashkin. That's what I was going to do. 
man, I, I, I have a notepad here and I need to let me put this alcohol out of the way and I need to write things down on this stinking notepad. Cause last week I wrote something down and I forgot the entire stream, which reminds me before we do this, there's something else I have to do. Jeez. Uh, Robert Feely said, what are the scales made of on your Manix 2? My Manix 2 scales are G10, and I, I don't know that I would want any other scales on it because I, I use my Manix 2 as a workhorse. I don't know that I want pretty scales on it. Maybe if I got another Manix 2, but the G10 scales just feel, I don't, I don't think I'd want anything else because they, they have such good texture and such a good feel. Feel, as my son would say, so good. Todd Carr just put up, oh, by the way, hey, listen, you alls. Savivi, you can go get a backlash right now for like $32. You can stack the Bees Blades discount code on top of things that Savivi on their site are cheaper than Amazon right now, okay? That only happens like a couple times a year. And this is one of those times a year when you can do that, when you can do that, you can stack my 5% discount code on top of the 32%, which gives you 37% off. I don't know how many of the Civivi knives. Let's see. Wh where are the, oh yeah, this one here. What is, uh, what is this one called? Uh, it has a wicked name. Oh yeah. <laughs> Purple haze, uh, chronic. <laughs> this, this is the Civivi chronic. I don't think I had ever held this knife before. And I was like, oh, I like it. I like it. It's not too bad. Check that out. I'm messing with my lighting and everything here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So what was I looking for? Exposure, face cam, contrast, sharpness. How sharp do I need to be there? There we go. It all depends on how I hold the light. Uh, oh, there we go. Metering. I want average metering, metering, not centered, not self-centered, self-seeking and selfish metering. There you go. Look at that. This thing is so cool. Like this, this would work for anyone and it's ambidextrous and it has such a good detail and it's snappy. These are 30 something. I mean, how often can you get a Civivi knife for 30 something bucks? Huh? Huh? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I mean, how often does that happen? Uh, Clarence Davis said, Betty Davis likes that one, bees. Yeah, it's purple. It doesn't look purple on my screen. I don't know if it does on your screen, but that is actually purple. Let me see what it looks like on this screen. I see on this screen, it looks purple. This is the Civivi Chronic. Get back here. Ready, go. The Chronic. Look at that. It has the G10 that I like. Civivi has really good texture on their G10. It's not as good as the texture on the Manix 2. Uh, where did I put my Manix 2? I literally just had it in my hand. Liter literally. Here's the, here's the Manix 2 G10, which it's, it's rough and it has a nice rough texture. Not uncomfortable rough, a good rough. Rough. <laughs> it has a good rough. Dogs will like it. My puppy was watching TV today. We were watching Tough as Nails. But yeah, that's the texture right there, man. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and go, Alice, Alicord Paracord is in the hive. Go and get you some Alicord stuff. Alicord, I can't talk. Paracord stuff. Her link is in the description and she is live right now. If you want to get anything, anything, and I mean anything made out of Paracord. I walked our puppy last night with a leash made of black and red paracord from Alicord Paracord. Her website's link is in the description. We have a dog leash and collar that look like this. She will make anything you can think of. If it can be made out of paracord, she will do it. Whatever colors, whatever variations, she'll make keychains. I have a Yoda keychain that she made. Hopefully she has the Yoda keychains on her website. I have this little dude. This is this is a keepsake. Look at this. I have a Yoda. A baby Yoda. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest little thing ever? I have it clipped to my clipped up there to, next to all my cool stuff. You members have seen what what my what I call my cool stuff shelf. <clears throat> You've seen what that looks like. 
Uh, Robert Feely said, I can't get your code to work on Civivi. Well, I don't understand why, Robert. Um, well, here's the thing, Robert, you have to use it on the clearance items. Well, no. Yeah. My code will work on anything on Civivi. It's B's 10. Are you putting B's 10? I haven't heard anyone else say that. I don't understand. Has anyone in here used code B's 10 on Civivi's website? Because I haven't heard anyone else tell me that that was a deal. I don't get it. It's Grogu. Thank you, Wayne Samarjic. It's Grogu. I always call him Baby Yoda. Alicord said, I do have the Yoda on the websites. There you go. The website. Oh, there you go. There's her website right there. Bill G said, mine worked fine today. So you might need to reload and try it again, man. NAF Collector said, I did, and it worked. There you go. Um, so this is one of the ones in the 30s. You can get a, you can get the Civivi Chronic for 30 bucks, And then... Let's go back to this one here. Top Dog hasn't tried it yet, but people are using it. You can get a, a backlash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is another one of those knives where if you don't get one and then you get one, you're like, you know what? Just for the cool factor, where did I put it? I just had it out when I made the video a couple days ago. Oh, there it is. This is such a cool knife. The Appalachian Drifter. It looks like a slip joint. They do have a slip joint in this one, but this is not a slip joint. And it is so snappy and it has a hollow ground blade. These are 32% off right now. Not, I don't know which ones. Not every one of their knives is 32% off. They, they have a big clearance section and the link to that, those clearances, I believe I, is in the description of this video. It'll take you to Civivi's website. This is the time to buy from Civivi's website. It's cheaper than Amazon. Pow! Right in the kisser. Peter Miller said, I got your Yoda on my, my daily carry satchel as a zipper pool. <laughs> there you go. Evil E said, I wish Civivi did a backlash with crossbar or button lock. Chicago 23 said, would you look at it? Yeah, just, just look at it. This thing is so cool. And you can reverse flick it too. Uh, apparently not when I'm when my arm is upside down, David Kula said, yes, but I did better with the $5 off, which was better. Hey, there you go. Ka-ching. Um, let's see. Besides the drifter. Oh, oh, now what'd you guys think about this? Do you like the idea of having, first of all, I've never seen one. Maybe they've done it and I didn't know, but O knife with a titanium knife and two blades, interchangeable blades, 154 cm blade steel. And I have the other blade sitting up here because I didn't want to just have it willy nilly sitting around so I'd cut myself. K Seth said, when I started watching the Civivi video, I was hoping for the mini sandbar, not on your video. Yes, but it is on sale. I don't, I don't have a mini sandbar, I don't think. If I do, I forgot. But the, yeah, there's there's a lot more than just what I showed. I showed three that were uh, under forty dollars, but there's a bunch of different models of Civivi on sale right now. So here is the Freeze Four from O, o Knife, and then here is the the extra blade that comes with it. It comes with two blades, and they're not like cheap steel. They're one fifty four cm, baby. Look at that. You have your both your options. If you're feeling froggy, whichever one you want to carry, I think that's really cool. Uh, LCAP said, is there blade play or movement from that interchangeable blade? Uh, no. And on my video, I even checked it on my video. There is no blade play or movement at all. It is solid, 100%. I have zero play, either direction, any direction. That's the first one of the first things I checked when I got this knife, because that's the first thing you expect. But you know what? The where's it at? Is it over here? Oh darn it! I think I put it away. Um, the Olatan's knife that I that I showed that you can get on uh, Amazon. It's the same. It's absolutely solid. And it comes with three blades. Jim Miller said, "I got the Freeze Four today. A bit of KPL and it sings. Put the Tanto blade on it. Very nice." EDC and Lay said, "The Hive is most definitely alive." Jay Riddle said, bees, any especially cool low-profile folders under three-inch blade length? Especially cool 
low profile folders under three inch. I mean, there's a, there's a lot. Well, here's one. These, you can get this one for like 34 or something like that. It happened to be on my table. This is the Civivi. Uh, what the heck is it called? Uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what it's called. It's reversible. You don't even have to use the pocket clip. Matter of fact, you could take the pocket clip off of this and just pocket drop it because there's no flipper that you're going to accidentally open it. Robert Feely said, I sent Civivi an email. There you go. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Sharik Cunningham said, Bees, I have a question. You were able to handle the mayhem at Blade Show. Is the lock mechanism a compression lock or a specialized liner lock with a button? If I remember correctly, it is, it is similar to the smock. And it has a compression style lock that you use the button for. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me while I come over here and check out some stuff and some things. And yeah, that that knife will be available on the twentieth. And may you possibly be talking about this beauty right here? Is it possible that you're talking about this one right here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Just gaze upon it. M merely gaze upon it. And all of the mayhemness that it produces from one end going slowly down ever so gently to the other end and looking at all of the beauty that is mayhem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Ooh, wow. Brian F. said, I'm back knife family, fresh out of the shower, piping hot pizza. Salah. <laughs> Michael Drew said, here comes the smooch. Could, would you just listen? Just. BD Edmund said, it's a commission lock actu actuated by a button. I'm keeping the button down, by the way. Yes. And the button is right here. Uh, seems logical said, Hey bees, have you been reminiscing about Atlanta? Only 11 more months till next year. Yes, man. The countdown is going already. Yes. I, I miss being there. So this is a look at the lock. Uh, let me get it to get quit focusing on my beard and look at the knife. So here's a look at the inside. There is your liner lock. Uh, and here's the compression. Lock. Here's the button. See how the button pushes it out of the way. Very similar to a Spyderco smock. Aaron B said, Bees, did you the sheep's foot Civivi Elementum? No, I do not, or I did not, or I have not. Ken Faulkner said, or, or you could go to West in October. October, we have a vacation planned. Um, Terrence said, do you have a Civivi pintail? What do you think? I do not have a Civivi pintail. I know that's one of the ones that's on a super deal right now, but I don't have a pen tail. Evil E said, oh, that mayhem speaks to me. Steve O wins member for one month. He said, give KC some love pre-order a jet stream tomorrow. Yes. Go get you a tomorrow at 1 PM Eastern. That's when the jet stream is going to drop. They're the ones that we've talked about. They're going to have the awesome micro milling. Oh my goodness. You have got to go and check them out. And speaking of checking out things, I have been so freaking forgetful lately because there's just so many cool things going on. There's so many cool knives to talk about. And I love talking with you all. We're going to check this out for a minute. See what's on here. StreamYard will catch up with me. All right. All right. Here we go. If you want to buy or sell a, a knife on the secondary market, safest place, best place to do it, is knife sale. Not to mention you can win this knife, the Revenant by Knife Modern. Now let's check it out. You could go through, you can list your knife. If you have some knives that you want to sell that you don't really use and you know it's a nice knife, you spend $150 for it, you don't want to just, you know, give it away. Unless if you want to give it away, you can send it to the channel. We'll certainly give it away. Jeremy Bauer speaking to give it away. Gifted one Bees Blades membership to Derek. 
Congratulations, Derek. And thank you very much, Jeremy Bowers, who has been a supporter of Bees Blades for a long time. El Cap Addict gifted a Bees Blades membership. And the person who got that was... Who got that? Who got that? My name was gifted a membership. <laughs> Not me. My name was gifted a Bees Blades membership. And Donald Milik Milinkovic has been a member for three months. And, oh my goodness, everything is flying by. I love it when stuff starts going crazy. Ken Faulkner with the $10 hairs. He said, couple bucks left over from the sales and before the pre-order. Thank you very much, Ken. Ken always comes in with a little bit of with a little bit of gas money, a little bit of shipping money. Thank you very much, Ken. Can you all see me down in the corner? That dude is a very cool dude. That dude right there. <laughs> Thank you very much. And oh my goodness, wow! Top Dog has been a member for twenty one months. He is an all-access bees, and he said so much is going on. Savivi, Bastid sales, and live at the Hive. Dude, Top Dog, you are the man. 21 months. Does that mean we're coming up on two years since Bees Blades became officially monetized? That was, I remember, it was in September. It was the month of my anniversary. It's your anniversary. Coming up. It's coming up. Thank you to everyone that's dropping the, uh, the emojis, the channel emojis. Um, 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 David Tooley said, why do we have over 200 people in here and only 154 likes hit that like button folks? Yes. When we get to 250 or maybe 300 likes, there's always an extra special giveaway. So you have to make sure if you're just at work or whatever, you're driving down the road. When you hit a stoplight, tap the thumbs up button, the thumbs up button. The hearts are great. I love the hearts and the one hundos, but make sure you hit the thumbs up button. So we break records. That's been something we've been doing for a long time. And Rob Nice has been a member for 10 months. Rob Nice, 10 months of an amazing knife knowledge learned. He said 10 months of amazing knife or knaf knowledge learned. And thank you very much, Ken, for the $10 hairs. <clears throat> but if, if you haven't heard of NAF sale, that is where you could go sell your knives. All you have to do is post the pictures. Someone will buy it and NAFSAIL will send you the postage to send to the person that bought it. Their cut for getting that knife sold for you, hassle-free, not having to meet in parking lot somewhere or someone taking your money or taking your knife or having to worry about any of that, they get 7%. So you can make the price whatever you want. You can make, you know, you can, you can move the price around to make up for whatever. So you can unload your knives and go buy that grail knife that you're looking for. Maybe so you can go get the, the mayhem. You guys can barely see me right now. You can get the mayhem or maybe you can get the jet stream. You can pre-order the jet stream tomorrow. D professors critter has been a member for two months. He said, gotta love the hive. Thanks, Mr. Bees. Thank you, man. VCR finds is in the hive too. Michael Warren said, I want Bogart to be my AVI. But he's got the little boat. Bogart will never be that small again. I'm glad I picture, captured that picture while I could because that little dude is growing so freaking fast. It's unbelievable. Now, on NAF sale, you have different sections. First of all, you can always, there's always a knife at the top that you can win. Then you have official listings, shop marketplace. You have Devo knives, ABW. You have giant mouse, EDC accessories, budget-friendly knives, and made in the USA. You have all these categories. There is a search engine at the top. So if we wanted to see if there's anything in the budget-friendly category, we'll take a quick look and see if there's anything over here in the budget category. Here you have Spyderco Manix 2 and XL Ceramic Bearings, uh, v knives Grip Tide. So look, if you have, there's a Milwaukee Fastback. So these, there's not a lot in here. Bird Robin 2. There's a bird for $25. Have you heard about the bird? So I'm not sure where, um, actually, I, did I see NAF sale is in here? NAF sale? What, what is the cutoff for something to be considered to go into the budget realm? Does that mean like $30 or less? Or I'm guessing it's 30 and under or something, something to that. No, there's 34, 35. So if you have a budget knife, 30, 40, $50 knife, and you want to sell it and try to make a little moolah, that's a way to do it. 
Um, Sharit Cunningham said, Evil E, the mayhem is made by Voss Deeds. EDC and Lay said, those are my bearings for sale. Hey, somebody go buy her bearings. Uh, Matt McCallis said, do your homework before buying. Some people are way overcharging for their knives. NAF sale official is in the hive. Hold the bus. Hold the bus. I think Marahair is coming as soon as I can find it. Hold the bus. I am I am backtracking. <laughs> the channel just went crazy. Oh, NAF sale with the $10 hairs. I'm looking for it. The stream yard is going crazy. And people are telling me to blink. I'm looking for it. NAF sale there. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, wait. Ah, you guys are really making me work for it. <laughs> Heck. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I will. I shall find it. It's going to happen. You just wait. There we go. I found it. Oh, NAF sale said, thanks for the love bees. The site is growing like crazy because of you fine folks. Yes. NAF sale with the $10 hairs. And I've been saying it for a long time and someday it'll happen. I'll end up having a bunch of knives on NAF sale. It's just a matter of one thing after the other. I'm going to keep repeating myself. Everything that I say is going to happen. Hey, it happens. It's just when. <laughs> That's the thing. Top Dog just put the link up there. I get two cents if you use my link. So go to my link every day. And if you go to if you go through my link to NAF sales seven days in a row, I make 14 cents. Yes. There you go. Steve Owens bought one on NAF sale today today um all right i'm gonna check out one more section here before we go to wow time is flying time goes by so fast let's look at the official listings let's look at the start of them there's a devo buzz blacked out another devo buzz reverse tux giant mouse another a tribeca denim micarta oh boy that looks nice look at the blade on that thing And NAF Sale, by the way, is a proud authorized retailer for Giant Mouse Knives, in case you didn't know. There's an Ace at Atelier. I'm not sure even how you say that. Bluetooth Blade said, I've bought from NAF Sale. Shriek said, don't be a stinker. Use a bee's linker. <laughs> B. Edmund EDC, welcome to Scout Bees. Everybody, welcome B. Edmund to Scout Bees. And look, oh, KPL. You can get you some KPL on NAF Sale. Peter Miller has been a member for 16 months. He said, one day I will actually sell a knife. We'll very likely use NAF sale when I do, but I like giving them away too much. It's fun seeing people get them for free. And Peter Miller, I am so thankful for the knives you send in for the giveaways. It has made people's days, weeks, months, years, folks that, I mean, I, I get the email and they always, they're so grateful for you for the knives that you send in for giveaways. And that's a perfect opportunity for me to mention. If you have a knife that you have sitting around and you like it, you don't carry it much, and you're not really worried or game on selling it, and you want to do something kind for someone, my address is in the description of every video. You can send it to the channel and that it'll be included in giveaways. We do giveaways every Friday night. And that is where a lot of the giveaways come from. Some of the nicest giveaway items come from you guys and gals. And I got to make sure I keep up enough stock of knives to give away. I will handle, oh my goodness, I will handle the shipping. I, I pay the shipping. I pay a lot of shipping. And the swag, the swag is getting bigger. I mean, the swag packs tonight are unbelievable. I'm going to have to get bigger bags for the swag. <laughs> I need bigger swag bags because, uh, yeah, stuff that I, that I got from, uh, ugh, from blade show. Like I couldn't even zip this one. This is just the swag. This isn't all the stuff that goes with this give with this particular giveaway. This is just stickers, keychains, lanyard, uh, more keychains, Kaiser coin, uh, one or two patches, about a half an inch worth of stickers. There, there's about the stickers are there's about that thick of stickers. 
I couldn't even. And and then this little doodad, little survival doodad. That's just one of the things in this giveaway. And that's just one of the giveaways. <laughs> um, oh, nine. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little something right now because I get so off. Um, I don't see you account. Hang on. I spelled it wrong. EDC said the swag makes the giveaway a win. Jim Zalton said blinker, blinker fluid alert. Got to put some blinker in you guys. You got to use that blink emoji and remind me to, to blink or I won't blink literally for a half an hour. Um, hard to walk with swag bag that big. <laughs> I smell what you're stepping in. All right. What was I going to do? All right. I'm going to do something real quick. And then no, first, before I do anything, thank you very much. Naf sale for the $10 here's and the awesome website and giving EDCers a place where they can sell and buy secondary stuff and not have to try to go on Facebook marketplace or you know, seedy dark hotels. <laughs> Percy Adams said, give it to me, baby. So I'm first, let me re up on my ice cold Coca-Cola zero sugar with the all access pass and a little bit of ASMR. Good to the last drop. Wait a minute. That's coffee. LC said Coke Zero with cherry and vanilla flavor from Sonic is S-tier soda. <sighs> q -ball is cutting corner. What's up, q -ball? He said, sorry, I can't chat at the moment. Work comes first. That's all right, man. Just put the earbud on. Thank you for hanging out with this q -ball. q -ball has been a big supporter of Bees Blades for a long time. q -ball is the man. Heebs said, I need some stickers to put on my ammo cans. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to check something and then we're going to do something here and then we're going to do something else. I have a, a bunch of more stuff, bunch of more stuff, bunch of more things planned. Um, where's that one thing? All right. I'm going to do some stuff and things. This is going to be fun. Um, all right. I'm going to try something. Do, do, do. All right, so that one. Now I'm going to check check one more. Okay, so the first winner of the Bees Blades mem members giveaway, and I'm going to go over here. I have a mic on my, not my lapel, but I have a mic on me so you can hear me over here fiddling. And walk into this other table. All you channel channel members know what the studio looks like. I walked over to the table at the end here, past the, the knife cases. That's where I had these four knives sitting, and these are the four knives for the membership giveaway. Now, the first person that was picked, Blades Hook Daniel. Guess what his pick was? Does anyone want to guess what knife? the The options were the uh, micro burst. Let me turn up some light here. The first option was, why is this not focusing? There we go. Get in there. Let's do this. Uh, I, I'll outsmart it. The first, well, uh, let me just do this. The first option was the microburst. Okay, that was the first one. The second option. Um, there, these aren't in order. This, the other option was the Kaiser Doman. It is a Doman, right? Yeah, a Kaiser Doman. Then you had this one right here, an automatic Kalishnikov with the sprinkles, a dessert warrior. And then the fourth option, these are not in order, was this one right here, the Kaiser Titanium, the Titanium October. Look at that. Those were the four options and the, the four people that won got to pick the, you know, first place, second place, third place, fourth place, but it doesn't, that didn't determine what you got. 
because you never know what the first person is going to pick. So, so there are some going to be some surprised channel members in here tonight. Okay. First of all, Blades Hook Daniel, he was he got his first choice. Blades Hook Daniel picked the microburst. That's what he picked. So the microburst is off the table. Okay. Two of the channel members that were picked did not go by the rules. They did not watch the live stream. They did not answer. I even tried to reach out to them, which is not even required of me at all. I commented and said, hey, send these blades an email. They didn't. So they are disqualified. It has been seven days, and according to the rules, that disqualifies you. So sorry to hear that. This is the way it goes. So that means, guess who gets the pick of the next three knives? And he better be still in here. Yeah. Cavity search. So which knife of the remaining three would you like, kind sir? I think I already know. I think I'm always already pretty sure. Colby, uh, you'll know when we do the giveaway. Um, I'm talking about the, the members giveaway at the moment, but you'll know we'll we'll uh, pick a, a hashtag. There'll be a couple giveaways. As long as you guys get us up to 250 thumbs up, maybe 300 thumbs up, we'll do an extra special second giveaway tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, a whole week, and I even commented, it's like, I can't search people out. Uh, you know, that's just, it's not feasible. Plus, ah, your dirty dog, congratulations. Um, where, where'd you go? Where are you at? Cavity search. Cavity search said, sir, cavity search, which one do you choose of the three remaining knives? Cavity said, I can't remember. Dude, you can tell me right now on the live. This is a second, second chance. You went from fourth place to second, just like that. So the three knives remaining are the dessert warrior, the Kaiser Doman, or the Kaiser October. Those are your three choices. Percy said, I can't double my thumbs up. No, don't double it because that'll take it away. You have the automatic, you have the Kalish, you have the Kalishnikov and the Kaiser Doman and the and the uh, Kaiser October. He is like racking his brain, like, which one do I want? Do I want the Kaiser Doman, the Kaiser October, or do I want the Kalishnikov Dessert Warrior? He's thinking really hard, really hard. I'm still waiting on your reply, man. <laughs> I think his brain's melting. Uh, my goodness gracious. You must choose, but choose wisely. Chris Hole, welcome to Scout Bees. Chris. Justin Ohio said, I hear a paint can shaking. No pressure. Cavity search. I think, I think the steam is just coming out of his ears right now. Come on, Cavity. The, he's probably trying to find the video to see what he picked. Well, I mean, you get your pick now. Um, let me, let me, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm looking, looking for Cavity. Kevity said the October. Kevity Search just picked one of the sweetest milled knives on the planet. So that's what that's one of the benefits of being a channel member is giveaways where knives like this are included. So Kevity Search, I know you sent me an email. I think you sent me an e I think you sent your address already because you contacted me like you're supposed to. So that dude, yours looked, I, I think this is, I don't know, whatever version was in the video, that's what you're getting. I'll leave it in the box, but that is yours, man. So here, here's the, the other exciting thing for you channel members. <clears throat> da, 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 da. You're getting the October. That means there's two left. Now here's the thing. Da, 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 da. I'm since this is a redraw. There's two, there's two things that are different because, well, they're my rules. Um, I'm going to do a redraw and whoever is drawn must be here right now because that, that drawing is the first drawing is over. I'm going to do this now. So those knives can still go out to channel members. So I'm getting ready to draw from the same video from the people that already commented. 
And whoever's drawn, if you're here, you get your pick of the two remaining knives. Okay. Let me do this. It's a like this and like that and like this. And uh, uh, let's see where YouTube ran a comment picker. Share my screen. There it is. All right. Let me put this up on the screen and then take a look so I can see. Make sure you guys can see it. Waiting for it to show up. There we go. Random comment picker. Thwack job said, I never win. Tom Sheehan said, already commented. What's up, Steven Johnson? Okay. I'm not going to look at your comments because then I'll never get to this. All right. Um, filter duplicate users. Number of winners, uh, animation, blah, blah, blah. Solve the sum, nine plus one. Ten. I'm going to go with 10. And I'm going to get the YouTube comments. And this channel member must be present to win. All right, here we go. Let's see who's going to be the third person to pick what they want. And go. What? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> What is with his name? He already won. Jeez, okay, we're going to do it again. Um, pick another winner. He's a lucky dude. Ready, go. And the names are flying. The names are going. Who? Tactical Ferret, tell me you are here right now. Tell me you're here. Is Tactical Ferret in the hive? T-A-C-T-I. I don't see Tactical Ferret. But the thing, this thing, the thing about this is it tells the person's name and it doesn't tell their YouTube channel, which is messed up. Tactical Ferret. Eric Lyons saw his name twice. Ooh, you still got a shot. Still got a shot. What's up, Tezo? 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 Uh, Seagull time. You can enter here in a minute. We're gonna we'll drop a hashtag for you guys. Um, I don't see tactical ferret. And there, I don't know why it, as he said, bees, dude, you got a collection. I'm going to go with the dessert warrior, the Kaiser October dome. And finally the microburst. Thanks for everything. See, he was going for the dessert warrior. Tropical said next Chris hole. I'm pulling these from the giveaway, the member giveaway video. I did a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. It's a members giveaway video in the membership section. Um, let's see. Where do I pick again? Pick another winner. Ready? Go. Who's going to win? Who's going to be? Charlie in. Is Charlie in in the hive? That's the question. I do not see Charlie in. And some of these names aren't folks that I normally see uh, leaving comments. So I don't see Charlie in in the hive. I'm working on it. C-H-A. Nope. No Charlie. All right. We're going to do it again. I'm going to keep moving. Keep this goop moving. And if, and if you didn't show up, if you didn't show up when I did the search, if I don't see your name pop up when I search it, that's the rules. If you're here and it's some other name or something like that, it doesn't count because I'm not going to make substitutions. Here we go. I'm picking another winner. Ready? Who's it going to be? Please be someone in the chat. And it is Craig Wilkes. Now that is a name I see all the time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Craig, are you not in here? Tell me you're in here. Oh, it took me to his uh, channel member. Kev, it's Kev's Pop123. See, it always does that weird stuff. Ed's pop one, two, three is not in here. And now I have to do it over. All right. You ready? Here we go. It's all right. We're going to pick another winner. Ready? Go. This is kind of fun. It's, it's like adding to the suspense. Aaron B. He said, Ooh, giveaway time. And look at that. And he put them in perfect order. So his first choice was the October. It's gone. His second choice was the microburst. His third choice choice was the Kaiser Doman. The question is, is he in here right now? Aaron B is in the hive. 
I knew he was good to be in here. Aaron B, is that still your choice? Since he said, yo, yo. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> He's going with the Kaiser Doman. Brian F said, bees. I'm here. I promise. All right. Um, let me write this down. Doman. All right, got you. Now we have we have the dessert warrior left. What's up, Paper Tiger? Congratulations, Aaron. Aaron's always a member, always always active in in the hive. All right, now for wait a minute, you guys can't even hardly see me, can you? Now for the Kalishnikov, the Boker Dessert Warrior Automatic Spasmatic Knife. Yeah, the Kaiser Doman is a sweet knife. I love the Kaiser Doman. It was it was looked over and is a fantastic knife. All right, here we go. Let's get this moving because we got grooving to do. Aaron B, contact me. Email me a, a screenshot of your logon page of your YouTube channel and your mailing address, and I'll send you out the knife. All right, let's pick another winner. Ready? Go! Who's going to be? Who's going to win? Richard Kaufman. Richard, are you in here? Are you live? That's the question. Richard Kaufman. I have the feeling he's here because he just popped up when I did a search. Richard, <laughs> tell me, out of the dessert warrior or the dessert warrior, would you like the dessert warrior? Richard Kaufman, say hello. Say, say hello. Dude, you got you an automatic knife, and it is so cool. Look at this. Let me let me write your name down before I forget. Richard Kaufman, aka. Let's see, his channel is. Um. Oh, it's Richard Kaufman. That made it easy. Congratulations, Richard. Hopefully, uh, he has said something. Somebody let me know if Richard said yay or wow, I won. Whoosh. Wow, this thing is, man, this thing comes flying out. Congratulations, Richard. Oh, Richard. He said he hates knives, Kyle said. <laughs> Richard said, thank you, thank you, thank you. There he is. There He was like, oh my gosh, I got to type something real quick. What the heck is going on? Richard, send me a screenshot of like when you log on to your YouTube, sh send me a screenshot of that and your mailing address, your mailing information, and I'll get it sent, sent out to you. Congratulations to those channel members. There, we got those knives given away. Dude, Richard, this you're going to like this thing. You're going you're gonna to like the way you look. I mean, who could be freaked out when they see this? But it is the real deal. All right. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, we got things happening in the chat. I'm missing. Stephanie Yabara, welcome to Scout Bees. We have a new channel member. Stephanie. Everybody, welcome Stephanie. Yes, he did respond. Thank you, Ken. Kevin Search said, thanks, Bees. It was worth the wait. <laughs> Kevin was sweating it. I'm telling you, he was sweating it. He thought for sure. He thought for sure someone was going to claim that Kaiser October that he wanted. Now you, dude, that, dude, think about it. That titanium Kaiser October is yours. That's going to be showing up in the mail in, I don't know, the next couple of weeks. I don't give guarantees of how fast I mail stuff out because that's how busy it is around here. And it's free. So you can, you know, you will know when it's on its way. When you get, you'll get an email saying there's a package, here's the tracking. So everybody that won, you'll, you'll get an automatic email the second I make the, uh, the label. And when I make the label, you know, it'll be mailed that day or the next morning. So that's how you know. Thank you, Kevity Search, for the five doll hairs. Every dollar counts. That's why I always appreciate when you, if you're going to go and buy something on Amazon, go to one of my Amazon links before you go buy something on Amazon. I might only get 50 cents out of it, but it all adds up and makes a difference. Bees Blades is, after all, a business. All right, let me go back down here. Oh, my goodness. Brent Irwin's been a member for 10 months. 
He said, yeah, another milestone. Dude, 10 months, all access bees. Thank you for supporting the channel, man. I really appreciate that. Keeping the honey flowing. It's what makes this happen is all of you alls. Um, Stacy Bolsterblade just put a link up for Amazon. She said, feel free to purchase anything and everything with this link. Yes, if you're going to go buy light bulbs, come to Bees Blades, click on, click on any of my Amazon links, click on my Amazon store, and then go shopping for whatever. I can get like 1%. So if you buy something for what a dollar, I'll get a penny. If you buy something for ten dollars, I'll get a dime. So it's not like I'm, I'm, and you don't have. It doesn't cost you anything extra. But anyway, that's how it works. Um, for thing for like you shopping for something other than what was linked, I think it's one percent. So, but you know, every dime, every penny helps the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we got that. Let me put this Kalishnikov back in its package, and its package. Did anybody hear some of the funny stuff? Uh, that th <laughs> were on a couple of my videos this week. Um, did somebody say something about nose picking on, on one of my videos this week? I mean, I, I was, you know, I was just letting it all hang out. I don't care. I think, I think it's funny when I'm editing, I'm, <laughs> I'll laugh and I'll say, I, I said that. Uh, Jay Crook. Jay Corscadden's been a member for two months. He said, hello, check the chat. Aaron B was DSKFS his win. Aaron B, who won the Doman, what? Oh my goodness, wait a minute. Oh gosh, how far do I got to go back to see this? Aaron B, Aaron B, going back, going back. Oh my gosh, how far do I have to go back? Is this what is really happening? I'm looking for Aaron B. Aaron B said B's. DSKFS the Doman, please. Do something kind for someone. He, okay. Oh my gosh. Hey, if, if you if anybody, if you're ever saying something to me and you want to make sure I see it, highlight my name. This is how you highlight someone's name. If you want to make sure anyone in the chat or me, that the whoever you do this to, their name, they will see it highlighted in red. Put the at symbol and then spell out their channel just how it looks and it will it will highlight it that'll that helps me for miss stuff so if you ever are asking something that's a good way to for me to not miss your comment but if you want to guarantee i don't miss your comment you can do a super chat and that highlights the whole screen in green for me it makes it easy to show it um aaron b's been a member for six months and he is the one that used his free super chat you get like a free super chat every month is what worked and got my attention that he told me um he said dskfs with the dome in my good sir all right the question is to who <laughs> uh evil he said bees pay attention robert vance said flicking boogers what's up richard kastner where's mrs bees uh she should be down here pretty soon oh my goodness i'm catching up here Ginger Fisher said, you get a dollar, I get a dime. That's why I poop on company time. <laughs> Bo Booger was in Revenge of the Nerds, unless you ask them first. You don't have to go back. He sent a super chat. Oh, well, I was, see, I can only do so many things at once. He sent the super chat, but I was already scrolling backwards trying to find it. That's the thing. Brent Irwin with the $10 hairs for shipping. Brent, dude. I love it when the chat goes so fast I can't keep up. Brent with the ten doll hairs, keeping the honey warm up in this hive. Thank you, brother. Broham and Ed. Wait a minute. Whoop. Jeez. Oh, Ed Harrison's been a member for ten months. He said my internet sucks tonight. It's storming here. I'm mad. Love y'all, dude. Ed Harrison, we love you to pieces, man. Have, have you used that little strop? <laughs> love you, Ed. Been a member for 10 months. And Brent Irwin with the $10 here as I'm trying to find his comment on StreamYard. You, you guys just like to keep me zipping from one thing to the next. I know how you is. I know how you are. I found it. Found it. 
the ten dollars. Thank you very much. The, all the money that I get for shipping helps a, a lot because I, well, four, five, four, five, wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I'm at up to ten packages. I have oh, eleven. I have eleven packages to ship out. Sharik Cunningham said, Bees, yo, man, what's for dinner? Go up your nose and pick a winner. <laughs> so he said to DSKFS, the uh, Jarvis has been a member for three months. He said, Bees, I love your channel and reviews. I've been missing for a few weeks due to going back to welding school, but I'll be back now. Dude, Jarvis, I'm glad you're back, man. We were watching... Tough as nails tonight, and two of the challenges involved welding. Welding, I, I I tried to get my son to go into the trades, man. Ken Faulkner said, you zip from one thing to the next on your own, bees. <laughs> That's what I do, man. Uh, I came downstairs this morning to see what knife I was going to review, and it ended up cleaning the cardboard <laughs> in the basement. Uh, that's that's the way it goes. Um, okay, so we have a DSKFS from Aaron B. D he won the Boker Dessert Warrior. So I'm going to, um, you know what? Mrs. B's isn't here yet. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to pull up. Do, 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 do. What's it called? StreamYard. I'm going to pull up the random comment picker. And uh, what's, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay, it's pulling up. I'm going to choose a broadcast. I'm going to choose my broadcast. Foldy knives to die for. And I'm going to do a real easy, uh, real easy hashtag. TFB Gunner said Aaron B won the Doman. Yes, and he is DSKFSing it. People are saying it was the Doman. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You're right. Thank you. <sighs> what would I do without you guys? Okay, the Doman. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. All right. So this this is going to be giveaway number one for the night. See, I have to I have to stay organized. Gaw number one is now the Doman, thanks to Aaron. Oh, see, I got to write it down. All right, for the Kaiser Doman, and Mrs. Remind me, Mrs. Bees will need to write that in the official giveaway book when she gets down here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me take a breath. Luna Vega said, buzzing around, bouncing into walls. Man, you got that right. My, our, uh, our new dog, he suits me well. We, we both just, gosh. Richard Strumberger said, I like that. He said, not easy being beasy. I, 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 I. Pedro said, sip some Coke Zero. <laughs> Kresk said don't blow it we're all watching there's somebody watching right now what the heck are you kidding me all right what was I doing giving away the domain Pick, picking a hashtag <laughs> all right uh, let's see easy hashtag what's an easy hashtag um, LCAP addict said do you feel exhausted after the lives no actually I don't Jim Miller said crazy stream tonight I know it's kind of fun though Bees, you make me spit out water, Aaron B said. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know what? Hashtag squirrel. No, let, let's let's do uh let's do one that's easy to spell. I instead of saying squirrel, I've always said my carta. So we'll do hashtag don't say it yet, okay? Because I haven't got it entered. Wait till I start collecting the entries. All right, hashtag all capital my carta. M-I-C-A-R-T-A. -A. Hashtag my carta. It's not my car, duh. It's my carta. By minute. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so much fun. I have, I mean, this is just like such a natural high being on the live stream and talking to you all and trying to keep track. It's just, it's a lot of fun for me. It really is. This is an extrovert's dream. I'm just, just telling you right now. Me, me carta, my carta, not your carta, my carta. M I C A R T A. My Macarta has a first name, M-I-C-A-R-T-A. -A. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just going off the rail. 
All right. Um, okay, now it's on your screen. Oh, Alicord Paracord with the two doll hairs. She said code B's bladers for $10 off a $50 purchase. What? So if you want to go get something, go get something at Alicord Paracord. And if you use code B's bladers, you get $10 off a $50 purchase. Holy crap, that's 20% off. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, that's 20% off. Do you like how I did that quick math? I was like, pow! See, I can not only do hashtags and read two doll, do two doll hairs, read the comments, I can also do math. Actually, math was one of my strong points in school. I had a 4.0 in math. That includes trig, calc, hand math, drop of calcet. <laughs> I was using my fingers and I saw hands. I was like, what? See how my mind works? <laughs> oh, gosh. Right in the kisser. Um, <laughs> who said that? Chef Rocky said, I math good. Brent Irwin said, I've been meaning to learn how to braid paracord lanyards. Man, you don't have to learn how to braid them. You go to paracord, you go to Alicord Paracord's uh, website and get her to braid them perfectly. Perfect. Oh, man. I just I just got squirreled again. The Warrior Mini 3. Whew, I would love, 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 love. I wish when they had the red that faded to black, I wish they would have sent me that one. I do this one. I'm in love with this, but I would even love the black, the red to black fade even that much more, but this midnight fade or whatever it's called. And by the way, unless they're sold out, these are still on sale right now. Use my link to go get you one. If you want one It's so good looking. I love the fade. This is the kind of work you can get done at Mitten State Modders. Brian F who is in the chat right now. He's at every live stream always comments on the videos. He always sends me cool stuff that he's working on or he just, he includes me in his Instagram. He's one of my bees blades friends. I'm telling you, so many of you have become my friends. Like when you send me a comment or you send me something or say, check this out or whatever. It's, it's like family. It's extended family. It's so cool. It's my <laughs> Bob Mana said my car. Duh. Um, Prado said, I have that light, dude. This thing is so good. The tail cap is so, oh, wait a minute. I have it locked. The tail cap is so cool because you can go just, you can go on half power. Wait a minute. Let's, let's see here. You can go half power or push all the way down for turbo like that. There's turbo, but it turns off, but if you click it, it will stay on. So it, it's like four functions. You can half, you can click it halfway for medium and it stays on. See, or you can switch and then you can still use the front button, the side button, and you can double tap for turbo. Look at that. This thing is so bright. You can see inside the hive. It is so cool. Um, oh, 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 oh yeah. I'm squirreling all over the place. That's all right. Timothy Trago said, I picked it up on that color for myself and I love it. It's slim for such a bright light. Yeah, dude. Um, I was say, telling someone the other day, I can't remember this conversation, but it was something to do with uh, back in the day, we thought mag lights were bright. <laughs> dude, get you one of these bad boys. Don't start a fire bees. Is that Oh, well, here, check this out. Look at this. If you try to turn, if you accidentally turn this on and it's in your pocket or near something, watch it, watch it ramp down. So if I go to turbo, do you see it? Look, it ramped down on its own. It ramps down. It's like, no, I'm not going to go to turbo with something that close. I don't want to take a chance of catching something on fire. That's a great safety feature. Now, if you ha already have it on high, here's the thing. Is some people didn't like the fact that if it was on high and you got close, oh my gosh, it, will, it won't ramp down if you already have it on. That is That ramp down feature is for if you accidentally do it while it's like in your pocket or something. But the, the thing you should do is whenever, whenever, every time I turn off an O-light, I hold it down and it goes like this and then it's locked. So if you try to turn it on, see that red, it's locked. I lock my lights. Just saying. 
Shereek Cunningham said, darn bees, you can see the future with that thing. Yeah, my contacts are so strong, you can see the future too. Ken Faulkner said, I got that one waiting to unbox for a video this weekend. Oh, yeah, man. Go go on Olight and read through all the directions on how to do it. And when you unbox it, you'll already know all the features. I am a directions nerd. That's why when I do my Olight videos, I have to stop myself from showing every single feature of every single flashlight or the videos would be too long and people wouldn't watch them. But once you, once you get like Olights are very easy to learn. They're very intuitive. All in some, some lights more so than others when it comes to brands, but um, yeah, don't forget we're doing hashtag my Carter right now for uh, the Kaiser Doman. I remembered. Stacy said she'll be in and out y'all. Hey, did you guys see this one? This is the new uh, iMini, but it's improved. It's the iMini 2 or, yeah, it's the iMini 2. They improved it. They they made it so it's rechargeable. See, the other one you had to use like hearing aid uh, batteries. But this one, this is one you want. When you take it off, it's automatically on. It's 50 lumens. It will stick to anything, anything metal like this or like that. So you can use this and stick it to your car. Oh, look at it right here. There's a Gober. I have a Gober sitting up right there. I forgot I was going to turn that on for the live stream. I completely forgot. But you can plug this into any any you you can plug it into your car charger for your phone. Let me see. Let me put this over here because I know you guys are talking, but I got to make sure it's focused to finish one thought at a time. You see there? You can plug it in to any phone charger or the side of your computer, anything that, that's USB to charge it back. And it will last 50 lumens for an hour. It's super bright. And it's keychain. This is the, the clip that comes with it. You obviously would have your your this on the keychain and then this clipped to the light. So all you have to do, you don't have to take it all the way out either. You can just go like this with your hand and just slightly pull it out without actually taking it out. But it has a very, I can't even, down on the knife cam, I can't even set stuff close to these the Olight's uh, super magnets because everything sticks to them. And here's another one. Matter of fact, I think I put one of these in a giveaway tonight. <laughs> yeah. This is the IR2 Pro. The IR2 Pro is, man, I, I, I'm freaking, I don't know. Maybe I should start a flashlight channel because <laughs> I have tons of free time. But check it out. The IR2 Pro. And that is the, uh, what is that called? Uh, pinwheel, pinwheel pattern. And this is rechargeable. By the way, all, the, all this Olight stuff, I almost forgot. This stuff is on sale right now. Today's the last day. A lot of times the sales are over before the live stream. But see, it's USB-C chargeable. Charge back up. And I think these are, it goes from like 15 lumens to, I believe, yeah, 180 lumens. Look how bright this thing is. And it, it's just, it's that small but it's that bright. Look at the gnomes. It's the gnomes. Wayne Samarjic said, bees, you light up our lives. Dude, you guys light up my life. And let's see, let's turn this on. And then let's turn this on. There we go, some blue and some red. How about that? We'll just have all kinds of light going. Um, El Cap Addict said the sale ends in less than two hours. Uh, da, 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 da. Craig Bunce has been a member for two months. Bluetooth Blades is in the hive. He said bees knees. People are getting in their hashtag my carta. All right, real quick. Let's see who's going to win this. Well, let's see who the winner is real quick of the Kaiser Doman. I'm going to do that real quick like. Um, let me pull up the screen, see who the winner is. Share the screen. Giveaway tool, StreamYard, share. Go, go back here, go back there, take this off. Come over here, and let's see who's going to win. Who is going to be the winner? of the Kaiser Doman DSKFS by Aaron B. The winner is Michael Warren. 
Michael Warren, congratulations. Michael Warren. Now, Michael, email me a screenshot of your YouTube, of your, when you log on to your YouTube channel. Yes, you have a YouTube channel. Send me a screenshot, like a picture of it, and your mailing information. Send it to beesblades at gmail.com, and I will mail it out to you in the next two to three weeks. Congratulations, Michael Warren. Congratulations. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, there is someone in the hive. Bogart is in the hive. Hello, Bogey boy. Hello, Bogart. Hello, little man. Hello, mister. Hello, mister man. How you doing, bubs? Bogart is in the hive. And his tail is a wagon. He's such a good boy. He's such a good dude. Are you just going nuts today, Paul? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing, bud? Huh? You good boy? Huh? You good boy? Stop taking my mic off. Are you good boy? Okay, you want your toy. I know. He is very toy motivated. He loves his toys. Dwayne K said he's blue. Puppers. Puppers. Uh, Mrs. B's ran upstairs. I, I'm guessing she'll be back. I'm going to hold him up so you guys can see how much he's grown in the last week. Because we are going to do this every week, hopefully, to show uh, how much he's growing. So here is Bogart. He is now, uh, let's see, he was born on April 11th. April, May, June, July. He is three months old, and this is how big the Puppers is. He's going to the vet tomorrow. We'll get an official weight, but this is Bogart, and he is just a handsome little man, and he is super smart. He sets and stays at the dinner table or at his dinner table. When you give him a treat, he's learned to sit down. Both dogs will have treats setting and will not get their treats until you say, okay. So look at that big boy. This is an English cream golden retriever. And if you want to see what our other dog looks like. Um, oh, actually, uh, my Olight video shows him and the big dog both walking with their gobers flashing. What is that, mister? That light's bright, isn't it? He's such a pupper's. He's such a puppers. He's such a good boy. What is that? What is that, huh? He is a very curious dude. And he's getting big. Mrs. B said, I'm not going to be able to carry him before too long. This is a three-month-old puppy. <laughs> Just for size reference. I'm not a small dude, even though I've lost 40-some pounds. Still, he's a big dude. Well, he is getting big, isn't he? He's such a big boy. Salamando said, nice work. I taught my dog to do the same stuff. Did it? Yeah, Dennis. Vu fan with the five doll hairs. He said, bees, you are shrinking while Bogart is growing. Thank you, Vu fan, for the five doll hairs, man. Oh, the puppy has the, uh, the puppy hiccups. He's got hiccups. He's got hiccups. Brent Irwin with the 10 doll hair super sticker. He said, shipping. Thank you, Brent. Thank you very much, Brent. Here I was showing the dog and I missed the super chat. Super chat. Oh, anybody want to see puppy puppy hiccups? Poor thing. He's got puppy hiccups. puppy hiccups. Puppy hiccups. We should make that a hashtag tonight. The puppy. They oh, look at. He's been all alert. He's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> That's a good screenshot. Man, he looks old. He's getting big. I don't like it. Yeah. What's your mama doing? What's she doing? Betty Davis said, I hear Mrs. B's. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. B's is in the hive, officially. Hold on. 
She brought down the puppy bed and everything. Hello. There's Mrs. B's. Hello. Thank you, Brent, for the five dot or for the ten doll hairs. And there's a Christmas card. No, it doesn't work because I'm not in it. Oh yeah, we need to do a screen. Somebody take a screenshot. It does work. Hello, bees, bladers. I guess I should put a thing on. Oh yeah. Hey, let's do it. Let's somebody get ready for a screenshot. Let's do a. Well, I mean, we don't have to do anything. But you want to. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I can't stop on my dog toy. Nope. You're not going to pay attention. You like you more. Thank you. Oh, and my mouth, bro. Right in your mouth. Right in the kissa. All right. BT has your eyes. Homer said, is it bad I want to win a giveaway just to say I won something for Bees Blades? That's not bad at all. Top Dog said, hello, Mrs. Bees. Top Dog, Top Dog, Top Diggity Dog. dog. Aaron B said, just got out of the hello. shower. Did you give away the Doman yet? Yes, Aaron B. The, do the winner of the first giveaway tonight was Michael Warren. He won the Doman. Jay says, where are those cool glasses? Right here. There's Mrs. B's. Look at that. She got more cool glasses. They orange tonight. I got some new colors. She's, color, color, color. She's cool like a cool cucumber. I got neon orange, neon green, and some polka dots. Yes, Dwayne K. Thank you for noticing. I got a new hair did. I got my ear balls lowered. Sorry, what were you saying? Some, I don't know. Somebody noticed your haircut? Yeah, Dwayne K. Hey. Hey, hey, Joe. Matthew Baum said, Mrs. B, your hair is straightened. It looks good. It is straightened, and I lost about, what did you say, three inches? At least, yeah. At least three inches. Tyler Williams said, hey, Mrs. B's looking good. Nail color. I had a very hard time deciding what nail color, so they're still naky. They're naked. I almost brought the several down. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> for you guys to choose. But I was like, nah, they don't want to. Are you kidding? They would love to. They love it when Mrs. B's comes down to the hive. It slows me down for a minute. I've been bouncing off the walls tonight. Just well, tonight? Well, I mean. <laughs> Match the glasses. I did have three orange colors picked out. One was a bright color, one was a dollar, and the next one was the dullest. The dullest? You look younger. Who looks younger? I do because I got my hair cut. It happens. Ew, what is happening? He's licking my face. Gross. Um, winner, Michael. Robert Vance said, new hairdo looks great, Mrs. B's. Thank you so very much. Joe Kasperick said, purple and yellow. Omed Kazik Kaisers has been a member for seven months. All access, Bees. He said, thank you, Bees. Love your lives. Does anyone know when the new Kaisers are releasing? They're usually released earlier in the month. I need that hyper now. Thank you, I uh, Omed, for uh, <sighs> too many thoughts. Thank you for being all access bees. And I don't know when they're releasing their new releases. I don't know if Crazy K threw a wrench in things or what happened. I don't know what's going on with that. Steven Johnson said, I'm super duper excited. I, super lit duper. I literally said super duper in a video. I said, did I just say super duper? Does not surprise me. Words are hard. So, and then the next video, I ended up saying it again. No, you did not. I did. <sighs> I said like two or three dumb things and I highlighted them because I thought it was funny. I mean, this is not working well tonight. Look at these paws. Look at the paws on this dude. Look at the face. He's only three months old. And look at the paws. Just look at him. Just look at him. Look at those big paws. They're giant. He was sleeping on the couch. Um, big man was very unhappy because he took his spot. And... He's very restless. Like he would lay in one spot, then get up and turn around, and then sleep for a couple months, then get up and turn around. I'm like, bro, just lay there. Super duper. Did he have to go potty? He did go potty. Top dog said, more puppy, less beard, please. I agree. 
Grimpage, more Grimpage on the Jimpage. Betty Davis said he's going to be big. We're wondering if he's going to be the same size or bigger than uh, Berkeley. Or I think not. he might be a little bigger. I don't know. Oh, his side nails. Wow. Yeah. He, somebody, that needs to mom, be trimmed. Mom needs to trim your nails. She's the professional nail trimmer. Yeah, because someone... I draw blood. <laughs> you do draw blood. Um, Don Durr said B's 10 didn't work on Olight. Don, if it didn't work, that means it's something that's already on sale. So B's 10, code B's 10... Well, and you don't use a space and you use a capital B. So that's not how you put it on there. You use capital B, E E Z 10, all one word, all together. Your Olight stack with their sales. I don't know. The, Olight code stack. The, with the their code, sales. they don't let the code work on sale items because the sale items are already marked down. So if you buy something that's not on sale, you get 10% off anytime, all the time. But right now, when they do their sale once a month, that's when stuff's as cheap as it'll go. Dwayne K said, I had a Malamute growing up, and he had huge paws as a puppy and became a monster. His name was Mishu. Did I say that right? Mishu? Mishu. Well, our our uh, our other gold retriever, he weighs 95 pounds. Mishu, you slipper. Mishu, you slipper. <laughs> <laughs> I have a chocolate lab that's three, and he weighs over 100 Kresk said, trim claws with an abrasive. Yeah, I'm going to, I need to get my uh, Dremel. Dremel out and maybe give that a try, get him used to it. Maybe I'll have Mrs. B's holding some, something with some peanut butter and then use the Dremel and get him used to it now while he's small or kind of small. Problem with that is they have the sale once a month and so the code never gets used. Yeah, that's probably the case, Prado, for folks that know it, unless there's something you really want to get, like some batteries or something like that. Hi, Boogie, bro. We don't need eye boogies on the show. Uh, Col Colby said, I have a chocolate lab that's that three right? years old and weighs over 100 pounds. I think I just read that comment. Oh, you probably did. <laughs> and you got to make sure you keep your dogs with a waist, people. Dogs are supposed to have a waist. Our dog is 95 pounds and he has a waist. So if you look at your dog and he looks like this and he doesn't go in before his hips, he probably needs to shed a few pounds. Don't be dog judgmental. I'm just saying, if you want to make your dog live longer, keep him trim. Omed says, I bought the bundle with a hatchet knife and a few titanium trinkets. Ooh, you got the buy. titanium. This thing is so cool. <laughs> Someone said, wrap saran wrap around your head, put peanut butter on it, and let it go to town while you cut their nails. Oh, yeah. There you I go. Think he would just eat your forehead. How about the cats? He is currently snoozing on the chair. So this is the O Tackle A1. You can get these from Obi if they still have any left. Annoyed said, "Can you tell me your feelings on the difference?" Oh shoot, I between dropped between the them. Cormorant and the Cormorant V2. Between hey. the Cormorant and the Cormorant V2, uh, what was the difference? I'm trying to remember what the difference was. Come here, right here. JMC oh, with the two oh, doll hairs. He said, "Mrs. B's, start yes. working on the super duper sticker." Super duper sticker. Oh, that's a that's a fantastic idea. Yeah. It really is. Where is he? What are you doing with your life? Oh. Super duper sticker. Super duper trooper sticker. That is bees approved. Hey. Stop that. Super duper. He's eating the balls on my slippers. I feel him munching. Yeah, Cliff, this this hatchet is some sweet action. Your sweet action. So the O Tackle one, I think it's like 50 something dollars. And on the back of it is a nice <laughs> hammer. What? Uh, funny text message. Oh. Mainly just your face, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you look petrified. I was trying to look like, I didn't know how he was looking at you. I was trying to look like him at you. No, oh, he was looking normal. You were looking like a weirdo. <laughs> Tropical said, exactly, bees. For the dog's own good, keep it in shape. Yes. Hey. Uh, Obi is starting to carry Kaisers. They got the drop bears and as an assassin so far. Really? I did not know that. Patches, guns, and knives said bees. Did you get the O knife Sentry R1 Field Chef's knife? O knife. No, I did not. Maybe I'll get that next time around. Thomas McDonald said original cormorant was flat grind and coarser jimping on the blade. It was flat grind. So my the first one I got must have been the V2 because I don't know that I have one um, Ow. with a flat grind. 
What? You're right. That's wow. 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 Look at it. Just look at it. Look at that dirty Kaiser. It does. It is a flat grind. See? Golly, I got to clean that. It gets on my nerves. If you can see me, I'm sorry. I'm mouth breathing. You guys got a free bell. Yeah. Meanwhile, neither one of us are on the screen. And they're just looking at background. Hi. There's Mrs. B's. Shut a little bit of back there. Oh. So this does have a flat grind. How about that? <laughs> Brian, I said B's definitely needs a waistline. My girl was fat, lost some weight, and she's acting like a puppy again. Yes, my dog. And be clear, not the wife. I started reading that and I'm like, Jeezy Pete, you just called out your lady on. <laughs> but then obviously I continued to read and I was like, oh, okay. Did you say fat behind? Annoyed said, is the flat grind inferior to the hollow? Do you feel? I wouldn't say that it's inferior. The hollow though, however, with the, the difference there that comes, the first thing that comes to mind is Bees, did you say fat behind? <laughs> um, at every time that you shut and there's, uh, I'll try to keep this short. Every time you sharpen a flat grind, okay. Right now it is, however, however much thousands of an inch behind the edge, and when you sharpen it at the same angle, it will be a little thicker behind the edge, less slicey. So if you sharpen it a few times, then what you can do is change the angle of your grind to be more shallow. To make up for it whereas if you get a knife with a hollow grind you're not going to have that issue because it is it gets thinner because of the hollow grind and you can see i use my knives yeah hollow grind yeah hollow grind bill m says i'm still sick it's been over a week now thank you uh kenneth i dyed it with rit dye synthetic dye what color um my cormorant i use two different two different uh colors to get this color it turned out very nicely omed kaiser said i finally bought the beg lighter xl button lock love it oh yeah that's a good one fook duzle said the only cormorant i saw that i wasn't a fan of was the one that looked like a playstation controller with the symbols on the side v3 maybe i know which one you're talking about um he's talking about this one right here with the with the PlayStation controller stuff. Very nice. Very, very nice. Dwayne K said it gets harder to keep the same angle on the flat grind when sharpening. Hollow, not so much. That's what Percy just said. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. And then here's the ah. XL. This is the big boy. And this was a gift to me from Vu Fam. The XL baby. JMC said, Bill, I can relate. I missed two episodes of The High because I was sick. He said he's still sick? Yeah. Oh, man, I hope you get better. You got some creeping crud? Some creepity crud. And I'm, let me make sure I didn't miss You know what will make you feel better? What's if that? bees will show you the schmuppums. The schmuppums? Yeah, the baby schmups. Who is currently eating baby schmups leftover packing peanuts? Golly jeepers. No, don't eat that. It was just a little. I got most of it. I don't know if those things are toxic. Eh, it'll be fine. <laughs> Can you? It's like this big of a piece. Come here. Don't want him getting the poops. No, oh, he's already got those. Derek Popenhagen said, I got here. a Bradford fixed blade in Magna Cut. Dig in. Where's it at? I don't know. I found it. Got it. Told you it was a little. He found a piece of packing peanut. You should have seen what was down there before I picked up the packing peanut. Uh, well, I, I tried to clean up. I didn't sweep this area. Hello, mister. Hello, mister man. Uh, How you doing? Ow. Hi, puppy. <laughs> Robert Feely said, I also have the, the XL Cormorant. If the dog has an upset stomach, give him pumpkin. We do have cans of pumpkin. We do have cans of pumpkin. Because I thought I was going to make puppy. some pumpkin bread. He's a puppy. Ow. I feel like he's doing the cha-cha. Yeah, now he's doing the cha-cha. Are you being aggressive? Huh? Are you being mean? Okay. 
Dwayne Case said, I've tasted the new packing peanuts, like a cheese ball or puff with no cheese. Gross. He's a liquor. <clears throat> Oh, Donald no. Milankovic said, I've made alcohol out of packing peanuts. Interesting. Ginger Fisher says, me and the fam are sick and we have to go to my father's funeral tomorrow. Oh, man. Double whammy. Steven Johnson said, I got a cold steel code code four and I'm loving it. That's a good one. That is super. That is a super duper night. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yes. Let, let everybody, everybody, let's do a pocket check. I'm not going to name them all or read them all off. But let us know what you carried in your pocket today. Or if you got a new knife, let everybody in the chat know what new knife you got this week. See, Jason Lee says not toxic. Not toxic. Told okay. you. Mr. Yeah, the Cormorant's an awesome knife. I'll show you what I carried today. Jason Lee EDC said you can eat them for real. Because it's still currently in my pocket. This is what Mrs. B's carried today. That's what I had. And it did match an article of my clothing. And she, she's been using it because she asked me to clean the blade today. I did. I was cutting some boxes open. VCR Fines had the Kaiser hiccup. Wayne Schmartic had the smock. Brian said, pumpkin is great for your puppy stomachs. The puppy had hiccups. Ooh, JMC <laughs> had the cold steel engage. Look, everybody, look at the knives that are going across your screen right now. That's what everyone's carrying or got this week. I like how he's sitting on my lap, but has his paws on your leg. And he's still in screen. Vu Fam is talking to Josh Branson. Jeremy Bowers is flipping the new O-Knife Drever. QSP Lark, a Ganzo Firebird FH 51. Melvin is carrying some lint. He's got some tactical pocket lint. Kaiser Original Tuxedo. Tuxedo? Great EDC for lighter use. What does that look like? Tuxedo is when you're going to have uh, like blacked out with a silver blade. Um, you have a black one, don't you? Yeah. Black on black? I have. Uh, don't let's chew see. That. I'm trying to think. Ow. Mini Roach. Got the mini roach going on. CMG, TNG, Vosti, Valkyrie, Cold Steel Engage Limited Edition on Top Dog, the XHP and Shred Carbon Fiber in the Manly Peak S90V. What? <laughs> he's trying to itch his... He's like, you hit a sweet spot, so his back leg's kind of flipping, but then he's also chewing on his leash. Erethane got the Savivi Incisor in this week. That's a wicked looking knife. Oh, no. What is happening? He is laying half on her lap, half on my lap. Oh, golly jeepers. There's the Civivi incisor. Got my nor new Stormtrooper Miguron. Whoop. Ken Faulkner carried the Med Medford Micro Praetorian and the Spyderco Carahawk and the PM2. Can I help you? What was the one you were reading? Uh, Flack Job. Got my new, new Stormtrooper Miguron. Very nice. With bees blades code. Love it when people use the bees blades code. Your mouth feels very dry. Um, Ace carried the Spider Co PM2 and S90V and got the ZT0452 carbon fiber in today. Mike McLaughlin, the CRK large Sabenza 31. Bluetooth blade said dead buzzard. Bees, did you ever reveal the new Spider Co you got? No, I'm not going to reveal it because I'm going to do a video on it. <laughs> <laughs> I showed him the box. Ah. Uh. JMC said, I want the Savivi Karambit. Knife Wife said, Kubi Koeus, baby. What are you, Casey, are you your arm? is my arm salty? I mean, he is just like. You need down. extra salt in your pocket in your life. Don't, Tropical no, no, said, love no. that Karambit. Clarence Davis said, the one I won from Bees, but I'm not sure what it's called. Nice green micarta with burnt orange pivot washers and D2 steel. I think it's a CJRB something. Uh, I don't know which one it what it would be. I mean, theoretically, I could go back to my giveaway book and look. Depending on how long ago it was. He only won like two or three weeks ago. Oh. I think. But you would have to take him for me to look. Because he's chewing on my pant leg. Oh. Let's see if I can find it. Justin Jack, Ohio said, did you do the Aaron B giveaway knife? Yes, the winner was Michael Warren. EDC and Lace said, Sala, and best part about, I got it from some, someone that bought it on Blade HQ and hated it and sold it to me the day after he got it for 130 bucks. Hey, 130 bucks. 1903 said, a 10-year Kershaw Ken oh. Onion, 1660, no serrations. Oh, Bluetooth Blade said, the Karambit looks like a dead buzzard. Yes. Buzzard, a, a buzzard with, uh, like, from a Halloween movie hey, or hey, something. Hey, hey, hey. 
You look like a dead buzzard. Uh -huh. Clarence Davis said, very beefy blade. Nope. I lied. I found one that he won, but it wasn't a C P C J R B. Yeah. It's it's probably in the other giveaway book. Because the last one he won was a Savivi Lumi. Savivi Lumi. And then the other one was how many times has he won? Uh um what is that? Oh, uh, oh, that's not a CJRB. It's a Louis Louis Land. Uh Louis. That's you, the last you thing. You spelled that's what he's talking about. It's not a CJRB. <laughs> it's a Louis. Uh, what's it called? Somebody on here will know what it's called. I don't know, but I told you I'd find it. She spelled it Louis Land, but that's that's <laughs> close. <laughs> you know what? I don't know how to spell them, so I, I do what I do. I do what I can. Does anyone in the chat know which steel is better, 20CV or S90V? Matthew Baum said. Um, I think that S90V will outperform 20CV. They're both premium steels. Casey says, the more people I meet, the more I love dogs. I had to read that to understand it, sadly. Brian Kerr carried two, the Elementum 2 button lock today. Eva Lee said S90V holds a better edge. S20V is tougher. See, it's a, it's a matter of whether, whether you want a tougher knife <laughs> or whether you want one that's going to hold an edge better. There's always going to be a give and take with the different steels. Looney, to Looney Tunes Buzzard. Yep. Ward918 said it's about the same. Yeah, you're, you're going to give up one for the other. Like if you get a higher HRC, you're going to have, you're going to, it's going to hold a sharper edge, but then the higher your HRC, the more brittle the blade is going to be. Betty Davis says, I need a new knife. Betty Davis, we all need a new knife. What new knife do you want? Frank said S90V is harder to sharpen too. Jarvis said, unless you get Magna Cut. <clears throat> Who said hi from Southern Australia? Where to go? Small Scout stuff. Small Scout stuff said, hey, y'all from Southern Australia. We have Southern Australia in the hive. Where's Mr. 2%? He's from Australia too. Oh. Uh, ADC and Lay said S90V is going to have more edge retention than 20CV. 20CV will be slightly tougher and both are highly corrosion resistant. I feel like people are going to be very confused because one second he wasn't on the screen and next minute he's like, bam, right in your face. The puppy. He is. Microtech Dirac Delta here. Bob Man Manab. EDC and Lay said, no steel is harder to sharpen. If you have good diamond stones, then you're going to be, you're, you're just better off to save up and get you diamond stones. Start out with a really low grit, like an Atoma 125. And once you get your angle, the rest is a <laughs> lot easier. Dwayne K says, small scalp. Well, good day, mate. <laughs> yeah. In that horrible accent, you're welcome. Good day, mate. Got me a Faustas. A Faustas? Isn't it Faustas? Fosters? Fosters what? Isn't that, a, isn't that an Australian beer? I have no idea. I don't drink beer. <laughs> Faustas? I also bought, uh, Craig Bunt said, I also bought a Civivi Backlash today based on your video. Use your link and codes. Dude, you're going to love the Backlash. Plus, that means you only had to pay like 32 bucks or something, That's which is awesome. Small Scout stuff said, Coopers? Coopers? It, big Koopas? Hello, bugger. Michael Warren said, I just want a new knife and I need a new knife. Heck yeah, Michael Warren has a new one, knife on the way. He has a, got the Kaiser Doman, which check this out. It was the member giveaway. Aaron B won it and he DSK invested. it. Wow. I only heard half of that. Yeah, I'm talking really fast. Well, that and I was kind of reading, but I was also kind of thinking at the same time. What I was thinking was small scout stuff probably is going to stop watching if you keep butchering his accent. So you might want to stop. Oh, he probably thinks it's funny. <laughs> I mean, I think your face is funny. <laughs> and then I was also texting Biggie back at the same time. It's Australian for beer. Matthew Baum said, I'm looking to get a Kaiser Cormorant and can't decide between CV20 or S90V. But you could get a Cormorant in S90V? Yep. You could get a Cormorant in 20CV? Yeah. What? Yeah. Really? Didn't you know that? I didn't know that. I knew that. Salamando said, dang, Mrs. B's got jokes. <laughs> Always. Hey, did you tell him what I texted you this morning? Uh, What was it? 
if you don't remember, then I'm I not mean, telling. You, I can't formulate full thoughts while I'm live. You should be able to. Do you need to put on my orange glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Will it help? Oh, yeah, that'll help. Just the outside. Oh, okay. Round the outside. Round the outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. You're fun. They're neon. Neon? Neon moon. Oh, yeah, let's not let the dog eat that. Um, Howard K said, no one answered. Did anyone hear of Santafe Cent Stonework? Ken Falger said, love the live so much after a hard week. Thanks, bees. Thank you, Ken. For the 10 dial hairs. What time is it? 1036? 10 wow. Uh, yes, on Kaiser's website. Wow, I did not know they had some with that heavy duty of steel. Now, if I can keep him from going too far, um, you just make sure he doesn't take off on us. Thank you, Ken. I mean, I can always take him back upstairs. No, I don't want to do that. I just got to do some typing and some stuff and things. You're going to break them, bees. They look nice on you, bees. They do look nice. You should wear my lime green ones. Do I look good in the lime green? I guess. Uh, when I wear green, my the green in my eyes comes out. I thought that was mine, too. Wow, that was a terrible sentence. But I think they're too green. I mean, it's like green on that like paint green that blue tape oh yeah email more screenshots craig said all right i'm gonna is craig the one who emailed us one last week and was like perfect i think it was I think what it was. are you eating what did he find this time i don't know you got a little, little mrs nickname. bees this is a shirt reminder per bees Oh, the uh, all of our stickers on shirts and logos I and stuff. I was thinking about that today at work, but then I got distracted by drawing. I just went in a whole circle. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I doodled at work, and it was a lot of fun. Hey, Patches, Guns, and Knives just gifted five Bees Blades memberships. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Jasper EDC, LP Knife Works, Howard K, Richard Kastner. Hey. What are you eating? And Bear Arms were all gifted memberships from Patches, Guns, and Knives. <laughs> you had to think about it, didn't you? Uh, yep, I was going to say <laughs> Patches, Guns, and Ammo. <laughs> Bogey. Bogey. Uh, congratulations and thank you, brother. Look at that. Look at all the channel members and the channel member emojis. I love it. You. Michael Warren said, Bees made my day. Dude, uh, Aaron B made your day. Ow. Um, David Jewell said, got a honey and peanut butter right now. Yum. Ooh, that that sounds, sounds good. good. I tried to have some peanut butter. Super duper. Toast. No, I was reading. <laughs> I know. I was going to have some sourdough toast with peanut butter. What are you doing? I ate half of a slice and then I looked down and my next bite, mold. I ate moldy bread. And then shortly after, my my tum my tumatino hurt. You're, you're gonna end up being a zombie now. I am I'm gonna live forever. Just now you have spores in your brain. With the El Cacarochos. Uh Greg Maroney said pepperoni pizza tonight for late dinner. Oh, uh, we didn't have pizza. We for did dinner. not have a pizza. We don't have pizza for the pizza check. <laughs> we had Chinese. Had a lot of Chinese. We had Chinese. I had crab rangoon yeah. and Mongolian beef yeah. with all kinds of vegetables and stuff in it. Yeah. And rice. Oh, and a little bit of rice. What did I you had have? General So's, or however you say it. General So. Um, wonton soup <laughs> and steamed pot stickers. What pot are stickers. you doing with your life? Hey. Hey. Thank you, Ken, for the ten doll hairs. What is happening? Greg Maroney said, "Cool glasses, Mrs. Bees." Thank you so much. That's why I smell my bread before I eat it. If it's a little old, what does it smell like? If it's bad, it just smells yeasty, kind of like our dog. The big one, not the little one. He smells like a puppy. Chew on that. Dennis said, Bees, which do you prefer the best on the Vosteed Mayhem, Sheep's Foot or Warncliffe? Oh, gosh. I don't remember what the other one looks like. 
Um, let's see. I have that up full screen right now. Um, let's check out NAF sale before I forget. Yeah, NAF sale. Yeah, NAF sale. Yeah. BK set. Mm, General Sows. Um, toast. Hey, why, hey, why watch why your toast. Why won't it do what it normally does? This this uh, thing. I don't want a full screen layout. <laughs> Squeaker's broken. Bill M's been a member for six months. He said it's great to be a member of the best EDC channel on YouTube. Hello. Keep up the great work, bees. Thank you, Bill. Supporting the channel for six months. Why? This only wants to be a full screen layout. Yeah. Full screen. Full screen. Sorry. I should have warned you all that it was coming. All right. So here's NAF sale. If you want to buy or sell on the secondary mar market, this is where you do it. Go to nafsale.com. You can list your knives that you want to sell on there and you don't have to worry about meeting in dark alleys and, and Walmart parking lots to sell your knives and stuff. You can go on here and there's EDC accessories. Ooh, they Skyline are chili. Ooh, Skyline is great. We got a gift card there. Uh, they are a distributor of giant mouse knives. They have <laughs> knives made in the USA, budget friendly knives. Skyline and, does? Yeah, Skyline. You didn't know <laughs> Skyline sold Devo knives I and didn't. giant mouse knives. I had no idea. Made in the USA knives. G-Ball said, thanks, guys. Just got him to 1K. The yeah, Punisher yeah, yeah. The Punisher said, I haven't had good Chinese food in a long time. My favorite restaurant went through a remodel and changed up the menu. It's just not the same. Anymore. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh. Check it out. A case yellow synthetic smooth pin. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, check it out. You know what we should do tomorrow? What should we do tomorrow? We should go to the store that sells pins. The pin store. So I can shop pins. Um, tomorrow, Knives Fast. Tomorrow, his, Saturday. His new knife, the Jet Stream, is releasing at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That is the, the pre-order for the new Jet Stream, and that is going to be an amazing knife with, with, ver with uh, what do you call that, crossed uh, section, not vertical, um, diagonal micro milling and it's going to look so good brad asesio just picked up a vosti nightshade from naf sale look at that there's a bench made narrows what was the one i just saw a hinderer eclipse is on sale on naf sale there's a there's a koenig arius i think that price has gone down 915 for the pattern red carbon fiber Dwayne k used to collect mechanical pencils Dude, I'm all about the mechanical pencils, Dwayne K. I was doodling with the mechanical pencil today. Hey, there's a tactile knife co maverick wow. in titanium purchased at Blade Show. This dude, the tactile map, three hundred dollars is a steal. If that thing is still in good condition, you're saving yourself probably 60, 70 bucks. I have one and it is an amazing knife. Oh, so Gardez, he said bees. Any word on the Miso Warney t shirt? Oh, yeah, that's another one. He's growling. Me so Warney t-shirt. Uh, Mrs. Bees will have to get on that. You'll have to email Mrs. Bees the reminder. Yep. Um, Eva Lee has three knives on NAF sale. NAF There's, sale. NAF sale. There's a Medford USMC flipper 3V. Wow, look at that thing. What about a penguin with only one flipper? <laughs> I have a, I have, no, my penguins don't have flippers. Oh, is there, a, a, is there a QSP penguin with a flipper? That doesn't even... That'd be funny if there isn't. Because honestly, I was just thinking of like a wing, like a chicken wing. Wilburn Forge Bodyguard. Wilburn. Les George ESV. A Gavco Midtech. Koenig Arius Titanium Scales. Kershaw Blur. Spiderco Pair 3. G10. 145 bucks. There you go. Spiderco Pair 3 for 145 James bucks. says I got two knives on that sale. James says there is. Which makes my joke less funny. Dwayne K said, "All bees, fifty-six. What did I say? What did you say?" I was getting ready to read that. You stole oh. my thunder. Continue. Uh, Dwayne K said, "All bees, fifty-six years old on the nineteenth. Happy birthday, Dwayne K." Who else has a birthday while we're checking out NAF sales? Hey, Spider Co. Paramilitary hey, Two. One plus has a flipper. Wow. Oh yeah, you're right. Wow, you that other flipper. Get it? Because penguins have two flippers. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why well, does it yeah. only have one flipper? Did, speaking of flippers. Yeah. What text did I send you this morning? Is the first thing you read. 
Oh, uh, the first thing that Mrs. B's texted me, it wasn't even 8 o'clock when she texted me. Technically, I'm standing at the microwave cooking my breakfast burrito. So she was <laughs> cooking her breakfast burrito. While at work. While at work. She texted me that she... Can do it. Uh, what's the word you I'm looking for? Do it. She reverse flicked the Kaiser original that she had with the thumb studs. She reverse flicked the Kaiser original with the thumb studs. Mrs. B's got her knife out and was like, swing. Someone at work the other day, again, I was standing at the microwave making my breakfast and I was flipping one of the knives. I think it was the Kaiser, Kaiser original. And one of the girls says, girls as in dispatch, they're like, is that a knife? I'm like, yes. They're like, why do you have a knife? I'm like, I carry a knife like nine times out of 10. Almost every day I have one in my pocket. She's like, seriously, why? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. My husband reviews them and is a YouTuber. <laughs> and because like, they're useful. And I was like, and they come in handy when I have to cut taper boxes. But yeah, it was just weird. She's like, is that a knife? I should have been like, no, it's a spoon. Oh, Lord. It's a flippable spoon. Cue ball with the five doll hairs. He said, awesome that we get to see Bogart and Louie growing up at the same time. Also, thank you for all you do to bring some joy into so many of our lives. Thank you, Cue ball And everyone, go to Cue balls Cutting Corner and check out his YouTube channel, his knife review channel. You just said Cue. Kuball. Kuball. What are you eating now? Kuball. Hey. Thank you for the five doll hairs. Open. Mrs. B's is attending to the dog. What is that? I don't know. Gross. I want it on the table, though. Sorry if anyone gets weirded out by fake pee sounds. My favorite. It makes my mom giggle. K. Seth said, you carry a knife because... Watch out for the cords. Oh, there's none down there. Good. He said, "What?" He said, "You carry a knife because you never know when you need to cut something." True. Yes, you. There's always a need for a knife, rather than using a key or something that's not intended for that purpose. Fingernails. Yeah, to open up your your morning breakfast burrito, for instance. Cavity Search Pinion is a must-have, in my opinion. Tempest is a great knife company. Brian F just put up the link to Tempest Knives. Tempest tomorrow, one p.m. Get you a jet stream. Eastern. 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Get you a jet stream. Hey. Um, let me put up. You're eating something again. I see your mouth moving. <laughs> what was that? He just hit his head on the bottom of the table. Yes, he did. It went awesome. donk. Yeah, Matthew Baum said, Bees, Mojave Outdoors also had a Kaiser Cormorant, Cormorant in L Max. It sold out in fat carbon. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Kaiser Cormorant. I have a Kaiser Cormorant. You know what's really funny? What? You want me down here to help you read comments, but then when I have the puppy down here, I don't read any comments because I have to watch him. I know. Uh, do you have an idea for a hashtag? Yeah. What's that? You want me to say it out loud? Yeah. And, and, and nobody say, nobody type it until I tell you because it won't Focus. count. Yeah, we'll do it this way. How do you spell it? That one. Oh, okay. Dun, dun, dun. You guys puppy. are gonna like this this one. And then after you do that, this guy's gonna hold up the puppy so you all can see him again. Yeah, because some of you that are just getting in here have not seen the puppy. Yeah, the pupper chups. Have no idea what he looks like. The poor little puppers. Same with me. Um your eyes are dry, aren't they? Yeah, they are a little dry. This weird face. Well, I go like this to open them up. Did you know people can see you, right? Uh, they're used to it. <laughs> okay. Well, the screen the screen seems bright or something. I think down? my eyes it's are that just that light bulb is bright. My bulbs go down. I thought I did. Don't I did. tell us until you type it, bees. Casey and Lee says it's irritating when people come over and ask why you're a carrying knife. Really gets under my skin. When they know you carry a bang bang though. They don't question it. It's when the eyes really lock on you. And the whispers go. Yeah, why do you carry a knife? Because they're useful. I carry one every day, so it's always there and you always have it. Because they're fun? See, people that are uneducated on the fact, they always think that it has to do something with self-defense or something like that. But that's not even why I carry a knife. 
Well, it's kind of like when you carry one for a while too, and then you don't carry one. It seems to be the day you need it. That is always when you need it. Do you have the drop bear down here? Yeah. Or no, you have it. I don't have it. Yeah, you do. I, I don't do have not. It. You have it. I do not. Then you lost it. I did not lose it. You've had it. I have not had it. I put it next to your knives and I haven't had it since. I haven't carried it since you put it there. Where did it go? I haven't seen it since I put it on your desk. And I checked all pockets before I did the laundry. I, I don't know. I haven't seen it. <sighs> better better find, find it. The question is, why don't you carry a knife? Baby yeah, hickey. you know that's a that's a good response. Why don't you carry one? Yeah, or you, you or you don't carry a pocket knife. Michael Warren said, "I feel naked without a knife." So does Robert Feely. So does Robert Feely, and without a, a watch or a knife. Oh, the watch is the worst for me. Oh my gosh, I've worn a watch almost every day for the last I don't know ten years. And then the one day you don't wear it, you look at your arm like 50 what times his mouth? looking to see what time it is. Um, he's got a small, ew. Like a toddler. Piece of paper. He finds anything and everything. You are so gross, but so cute. <laughs> Little needle teeth. And Zadikim said, there's a clock on your phone, though. That's true. But I'm one of those people who don't constantly have my phone attached to me. Like, I can go all weekend without it. Yeah, it's a new variant on the Kaiser Hiccup. It's called Puppy Hiccups. The Puppy Hiccups. I like to call them Puppy Hickeys because that's more fun. Michael Drew said, I manage a medical facility. I had a knife out the Ooh. other day and an employee said, you can't have a weapon in here. I informed her it is not a weapon. It is a tool. Seriously? Oh, my gosh. That gets under my skin. Great timing. Um, LCAP said, great timing, KC. Nice, fast. Probably got to retype all that. Ooh, that's pretty. Now, I don't mind that. I don't either. That's really nice looking. And it's a spider co. Did it disappear? Look at that. Here, show, oh, you can't show. I can't. It's it's on a timer. Cube, cue ball has a really cool looking, uh, looks like a pair of two or I don't Paramilitary know. too. Honestly, I was looking at the handle so much, I didn't even notice it was a spider coat. They're they're disappearing pictures, so she can't show them. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. <sighs> Get your butt situated, Mister. Listen here, Mister. Yo, look at me. There you go. Hi. What do you think? Said my then girlfriend. Said, "Is that a knife in your pocket?" She is now my wife of forty nine years. Yeah, 1 p.m. tomorrow, get you a jet stream. Let me see. Like, what, are, what is your face? <laughs> Looks look, like I'm sleeping. Look at my face. It's like, <laughs> Did you show them? No. Show them. Look at this other one. Oh, you guys are getting some screen, great. Look, I'm looking like I'm growling. So here's the screenshot that we were just making fun of. It's like, what is he doing? I was slow blinking the. I got a text message. Text message. When I worked, you could not. Where I worked, you couldn't carry a knife. Tom said. Oh. Melvin said, "If I not have not having a knife gives me an anxiety." How do you? Dwayne K said, "There's a new teal para two and S ninety V. Maybe B's got it. That's the picture that Mrs. B's was just looking at." How do you send a non-disappearing photo on Instagram? You say you say keep in chat. You say right before you send the picture at the bottom, you can you can tap keep in chat and it won't disappear. Really? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. I always do again, that so the person can go and look at it again. I've never sent photos. Yeah. If you send a photo in Instagram, the person will only get to see it once unless you Twice. tap keep in chat. Z Sean Zalewski has been a member for seven months. He said, hello, all members of this awesome channel for over seven months. Can't, cute puppy dog you got there, Mr. and Mrs. Bees. Thank you, Sean. Been a member for seven months. Oh, Travis Kirk, member for 19 months. All access bees. He said, best 19 months of my life. Thanks to both of you and to all of the hive. Thank you, Travis. Bees is sleeping and using bogey as a pillow. Yep. It's a bogey pillow. 
I don't know if he'd make a good pillow or not. Alicord said, or you don't take the picture while in Instagram. Um, you, as long as you say keep in chat, I usually don't take the pictures while in Instagram and just share it through Instagram. Michael Drew says, pants go on, knife goes in the pocket. Or pants go on with a knife already in the pocket. Um, let's see. I'm going to put him down. I'm going to pull some up real quick. He's like, uh, excuse me. What just happened? So I, I started typing. I put T-E and a, uh, a website showed up. Yeah. Don't chew on my sock. No, 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 no. I don't chew on yours. Boop, 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 boop. Apparently it doesn't give that option. Sure it does. It does it every time I send stuff. Well. Are you sure you're not thinking Well, I, I don't take the pictures with the Instagram app. I always take them with my phone. And then if you share it, if you share a picture on Instagram or a video with someone at the bottom, you can tap keep in chat. Oh. It says keep in or uh, yeah, keep in Do chat. Do not. Yeah, there's an option. What are you? Um, Ace said only time I don't have a knife is when I'm sleeping. It's less than a foot away. When I'm sleeping, I've got a Glock and a shotgun within arm's reach. So I'm good on good on sleepage. All right, StreamYard. Here we go. Tempest Knives, you all. This is an official announcement from Bees Blades. Tomorrow, July 15th, Saturday, July 15th, 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Go to Tempest Knives and get in on the new, let's see, is it gonna is it showing yet? Yeah, here we go. Get in on the jets on the jet stream. It, it's going to look similar to this, except for it's going to have micro milling. It's going to have beautiful micro milling on the scales. And um, if I can go to what website am I on? Um, Tempest. Tempest. Sorry. Let me see if I can pull up Tempest knives. Reading the Punisher too. I rarely get asked why I carry a knife. The fact that I look like an extra from the Vikings. I don't know because it's scrolled. You got to just tell me. Um, and I'm an above average in the height department. Keeps most people from talking to me. Okay, you can scroll back down now. All right, I'm gonna show, give you all an idea of what the scales are gonna look like on the jet stream, and you're gonna be like, what? Chubby, what do you? You're have? gonna be like, what? What do you have? Oh, gross. You, sir, are about to go back upstairs because this is ridiculous. He should have all of it by now, because. There shouldn't no, be that much down there. Clumps of hair, some pieces of plastic. So this is what the scales on the the uh, Tempest jet stream are going to look like. And this is my favorite. Look at that. Look at the texture. I like that color. Oh, yeah. Mrs. B's likes the blue. So that's what the scales are going to look like. It is a fantastic knife. I did a review on it. It passed in flying colors. And it has a, uh, it hey. has, it has kind of a hidden flipper tab. So you folks that don't like a flipper tab sticking out, it has a flipper tab. I have a knife that's kind of similar. I can't remember what it, which one it is, but it has a flipper tab, but it's not sticking out. So it, it's, uh, it gives you the best of both worlds. Jasper said, this was seven years ago, but I was once escorted out of my local hospital by three guards for carrying a CRKT minimalist Bowie. It was either give them the knife or get escorted out. Well, I would have got escorted out too. Sean Zalewski with the five doll hairs. He said, I can never join the hive stream without donating. So here you go. Sean, you, sir, are the man. Thank you very much for warming up the honey. Last time I was in the hospital, I went running through it to make to beat the door closing and I got in trouble because apparently you're not allowed to run the hospital. It looks suspicious. It looks suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Uh, the milling, if it's like that, what's on the tidiest is going to be amazing. Brian F said, ah, you figured it out. Top. There you go. He, fi he figured it out. You just got to click. on. So, it. so here is Q balls paramilitary two. look at that thing. That is Gorgeous. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Sweet cheese. Look at that. 
That is pretty sweet looking, except for the screens making it look funky. Funky Dillick. <laughs> Mrs. B said your mom makes it look funky. Oh, he has it. even has it. Oh, there's the kitty. The kitty. It's the baby kitty. Kitty, kitty. I'm going to take this. Everybody get, you a, everybody get you a jet stream tomorrow. Richard Kaufman gifted one Bees Blades membership. Jason Horn was gifted the membership by Richard Kaufman. Thank you, Richard. Puppy. I believe we're going upstairs. All right, Mr. Bogart is going to go upstairs and, and take him a nap. He, he's he's made his uh he's made his debut of the evening. All right. What's up? Crazy K is in the hive. Crazy K. You gonna do the stairs tonight? Oh yeah, get him to do the stairs. What's up, Crazy K? Come on. Come on, Bugs. Pyrotech knives, y'all. <laughs> Pyrotech knives is in the house. Go boy. Oh, you did it. Oh. Uh, oh, nice fast said it's, it's like. just like the KB360. The, is that KB360? I don't know what the KB360 is. I don't have all that knife knowledge that you do, KC. Not yet. <laughs> Working on it. What's up, Crazy K? All right, that's what I got. That's what I got to do. All right, so let me show you this. These are what the scales are going to look like on the jet stream. And let me blow it up. So this is what the jet stream, oh, let's see, you're not seeing that. You're seeing this. I wish I could show you more than one screen at a time, but look at that. If they're going to look anything close to that, oh, and this, this is where the, uh, what do you call it? The flipper tab goes. And let me see if I can, I'm sure there's more pictures. Yeah, here you go. This is what the jet stream looks like, except for it's going to have the micro milling. That is a, such a sweet knife. And let's see if we can see a picture of it closed. So I can show you the flipper tab. I don't think there's any closed. Ah, here we go. This is what it looks like. Here's the flipper tab. See that? The flipper tab is like recessed and it has really good jimping. See, look at this. There's the flipper. So the flipper does not stick out, but people like me that like a flipper tab have that option. And because KC loves me so much, he's going to give me a big discount. <laughs> he would never do such a thing. So Tempest Knives, y'all, 1 p.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right, let's 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 give this uh, stuff away. We're going to give stuff away. I just ran over a squeaky toy. <laughs> I, ro I rolled my chair back and I went, hee hee. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna we're gonna do the big one. The big one. Will you just look at it? All right, you guys, you guys and gals, ready for all this? There's Mrs. B's with her crazy specs. I don't want you to say anything. I wanted to see who it built it. Oh gosh. <laughs> Baby girl said, "I never win. Pick me." All right, first of all, look what I added to this. Oh the, the, no. The swag is mad on this one. You're getting a brand new, still in the the cellophane. A wee knife, <coughs> giant work mat. Look at that. Just look at it. The puppy's mad. He's upstairs. Oh, yeah, now. he's ticked. So you're getting a, a big old work mat. But wait, there's more. All right. On top of that, you're getting, oh, Timothy Trago with the $10 hairs. He said shipping for the winner. Thank you, Timothy Trago. Double D and says it's my birthday bees. Put put in what? Where's it at? He says it's my birthday bees. Put the fix in and make it pick me. Happy birthday, double D tent. Happy, happy birthday. Oh my. And thank you very much, Timothy Trago, for the ten doll hairs. Let's see if I can uh, do this. All right, because I'm going to run through this stuff. So you're getting one of these. This is the Olight. I always forget the numbers. An IR2 Pro. A brand new IR2 Pro. It's rechargeable. You, you saw me talk about it earlier. John Blackman, member for five months. He said, what's up, bees? What's up, John Blackman? 
Thank you for supporting the Hive and being a member for five months. So there's that. That's in this giveaway. Um, and it's brand new in the box. There's that. And then on top of that, let me show you the swag pack real quick. Here we have a, a Kershaw lanyard. Looks kind of, it's a, kind of looks like a box lanyard, a Kershaw lanyard, and then a Civivi keychain. Um, please remember to smash the like button. Um, you're getting a Kaiser coin, a Kaiser 10th anniversary coin in this little cute swag bag. On top of that, you're getting this uh, like survival type card that has fish hooks. It has a frog gig. It has some spearheads, arrowheads, a little saw and all kinds of good goodies on it. Level on up says crazy awesome lightning storm right now. I like lightning storms as long as they're not striking anything. And here, this was from Blade Show from Gun Digest. It's a, uh, I don't know what round that is, but it is a round, a rifle round keychain. And on top of that, a Bees Gnome keychain. Got to yeah, get the Bees yeah. Gnome. And on top of that, another, you're going to be keychained out. A, a Vostid keychain. This is a heavy duty keychain. That's a sweet one. And here's a spider co that you're going to get. Yes, this has a spider co. It's a spider co lapel pin. <laughs> Check that out. How about them apples? Spider co lapel pin from Blade Show. And where do you see all this stuff? Oh, and on top of that, a shark lock, a Dimco patch. Somebody says, doesn't all lightning strike unless it's heat lightning? Mm, I don't know. Doesn't a lot of it like fly across the sky? No, I think it's still like connect somewhere. No, well, it might. I don't know though. Happy Knife said that spider co is awesome. Okay, you guys ready? You ready to see this swag? I'm going to show you some major swag. This is the swag. This this is just the stickers that goes with all that stuff. And I haven't got to the knife yet. Bees, this stuff is gonna be in the giveaway. Bees blade sticker, a artist and cutlery sticker, a what is this? A driver defense, driver defense uh magnet. Where did that come from? Um it had to have come from Blade Show. You're getting a few of these little stickers, little 10 10th, 10th Kaiser anniversary. You're getting a Mrs. B's pizza check sticker. Another artisan cutlery sticker. Yeah, it looks like the one I drew today. A Queen Bee sticker. That's me. That's her. And then what is this? This is, oh, look at this. Crispy Donut Community, a Hanson sticker. Check that out. And all of its shagadelicness. Oh, that's shiny. It is shiny. Oh, so shiny. And then this is Blade HQ, right? Mm -hmm. A Blade HQ sticker. Look at that. I like this one. And then a Bees Blades Bees Burger sticker. A pal right in the sticker. <laughs> I said pal right in the sticker. Pal right in the kisser. Yeah, it's close enough. Don't cut yourself. Keep a Band-Aid handy. Are they saying anything? Just look at it. Uh, they're debating the caliber, I believe. <laughs> a Kaiser sticker. Uh, more Kaiser stickers. Look at that. It's like an angry koala. Another Kaiser sticker. More Kaiser stickers. They're saying they can't really tell what it is because your hands are too small. Oh. A Smoky Mountain Knife Work <laughs> sticker. I'm kidding. Um, I don't think it's a 223. It's not a 223. A Shed Knife sticker. A Dessert Warrior sticker from Blade HQ. Robert Felix says, can we order stickers from you, Bees? Um, right now, you can order a Bees Blade sticker. And when Mrs. Bees gets them added to Spread Shop, you'll be able to order any of them. I will have it done this weekend. A said Stevie sticker. By saying that out loud to everyone, it's going to make me do it. A better than cardboard sticker. I have nothing to do tomorrow. A Kaiser Chili Pepper sticker. Speaking of Chili Pepper, everybody go get you some jerky at M-Bomb Jerky. Another Kaiser sticker. A Kaiser stickered out today. 
Level on up says, quiet down, rain. You're too loud while I'm driving. I can't hear bees. A knife sticker, a lefty EDC sticker. Craig says, Band-Aid should sponsor your show. Yes, they should. I still need to contact them. You should. A dessert word, no. What is that? The mermaid sticker. Chris Hinkle says, show the bullet. I missed it. I'll tell you the caliber. A dessert warrior sticker. A, 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 a top dog knife eyes sticker. We knife sticker. A nightshade sticker. Sweet lord. This is I the, the there's enough stickers to cover an entire workbench. Five days later. Three days later. And last but not least, uh, for the stickers, a Blade HQ sticker. Show the pew pew. Okay. So there is the sticker pack. And then here is, I mean, it probably says on the back. I don't think that's a 220. No. Let that's... the people guess. There you go. You can take your guesses. Is that a 557? Five, five, Greg Maroney said, hard to tell until in, until in hand. I said, uh, Dwayne K said, I say 308 or 6.5. 308. Is that a 308? 308. Well, there you go. That's what? 556? Five, five, the consensus is 308. No, it looks like a 30-30. No, it's not a 30-30. 308 it is. Sounds good to me. No idea. Yeah, I know I know a 30-30. I've shot many a 30-30 in my day. And here's the knife that is in this giant swag sea of swagness. It is a Kubi. Oh, snap. It's a Kubi. Oh. You saw me do a video. Oh, by the way, if you go back to my video, I think I have like a 50% off code. Ooh, discount. I think if you go to Kubi's website and use, or no, if you go back to the video, uh, there's you can get 50% off of this. It's the Kubi, I can't remember the name of it. Please. The Kubi Echo. Kubi Echo. This bad boy. Ken says, wait, there's a knife. But wait, there's a knife. <laughs> the Kubi Echo. 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 And this is spelled actually. E -E I think this was actually spelled E C H O. You're literally holding the box. It does, they don't put the name on them. They just give you numbers. Okay. Kubi and CJRB, listen. Don't just put numbers on your boxes. Put the name. We like names. Just saying. So there's the knife. I like snacks. I like snacks. I could go for it, a good snack. It does look like a mini cutlass. Tell um, me why I just spelled Echo with a K. Uh, well, the other knife, the other one is spelled Echo, E-K-K-O by CJRB. But you wouldn't know it because every one of their boxes just has a bunch of numbers on it. As if we recognize, as if we memorize, like, the 1925-A1. I thought that's what everybody did. Ugh. It's like Sativian and all them. Like, start naming your knives. All right, so there's your giant swag pack. It weighs about eight pounds. David Tooley says, I think you have to speak pirate when you wield that baby. Arg. Okay, take this banner down. The puppy messed my beard up. Craig says, true, I can't see poop on this phone. What? I hope you don't have poop on your phone. Because that just gets weird. Solid squirrel. Was it eating a nut? All right, let's see who's going to win. The winner is... Chocolate pudding. <laughs> Seth Price. Congratulations, Seth. You just won all kinds of stuff and things. Congratulations, Seth. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You have 24 hours to email me, beesblades at gmail.com. Take a screenshot of you, your login page, so I know it's you, your YouTube channel, and your mailing information. And we'll get it mailed out in the next two or three weeks. I promise you will get a response email. It might not just be right away. There you go. <laughs> Usually happens. Yep. I saw Lacey pop up there. I saw a lot of names. David David Coolis said, good night, bees. Good night, bro ham. 
So congratulations, Seth Price. Winner. Winner. Scroll down. 24 hours. He ain't joking. Justin Ohio said, yeah, I have to start setting rules. I, if I don't make rules, then it creates a lot of extra work for me. I can't track down winners. Um, that's just the way it works. We had two winners that missed out on their, their winnings recently mm. because they didn't contact me. I, the only thing I could do is try to contact them, but that I can't do that. Plus I put in the official rules. You have seven days, seven days were up and that's just the way it goes. Mm. My name said, I saw my name go by. <laughs> Get it. My name said, I saw my name go by. No. Jay, Jay said, that's super duper, Seth. That definitely has to be a soup, a sticker. Puppy hiccup. Can yep. I form it in the shape of poop? So it'd be super duper pooper sticker? Oh, super duper pooper sticker. <laughs> now, see, you'll have to come up with the thing. I'll say, it is, it's super duper. And I was talking about a knife. EDC and Lace said, I have some bad brass with bad primer pockets. I'll make some and do giveaways with them. There you go. Michael Drew said, time for bed, have to work in a few hours. Thank you for the live. We'll put this on the calendar for Fridays. Dude, Michael Drew, I'm glad you were here. Definitely come and hang out every Friday, man. Every, every Friday. Every Friday is just a little bit different, and it goes by so stinking fast. We don't have enough time to talk about all the stuff we want to talk about. For instance, does anybody have any questions about anything that's on the knife can? Everything's, huh? I thought you said starting to say something. I was going to, but then I kind of stopped. Oh, why? Hmm. Um, a hey, uh, Mrs. V's. Hmm. Did you know that Civivi's having a big sale right now? I did not know that. Yeah, and you can stack my discount code on top of the the discount that's already going on. Oh no! You can get thirty seven percent off. Hey, what color would you call that green? Um, they call it OD green, which is uh, olive drab. This this is more of a hunter green. Do you think? take that into a paint store and have them match it oh. i would really like that for a guest bedroom color <laughs> oh yeah they could definitely match this at, like a, at a paint wall? store or is that too dark i'm over here thinking about home improvement this Sorry. would be dark for an accent wall would it if the wall the other three walls were like a tan cream i don't know it's kind of dark i mean i guess it's not really much darker than a dark gray uh, Dr. Bass said, what is the knife second? Oh, let me, uh, let me do a little switch at Ruski here. He said, what's the knife second from this right here is the Vostid Corgi. Why did my screen get dark? I don't know. This is the Vostid Corgi. Stacy said it would be fine. Thank you, Stacy, for agreeing. <laughs> but this is what the Corgi looks like up close. And this has frag pattern. Alice. Alicord, Paracord, also agrees. Not too dark. Hides marks from the fur babies. <laughs> oh, there you go. Also, someone would like to see what is the brown one on the right. The brown one on the right. So... Huh. Stacy painted her kitchen black and it made her look bigger. Interesting. Really? What color are your cabinets? Is it also black? Or do you have light colored cabinets? So this is the Vostid Corgi with the frag copper. And then this one is the new Sin Cut. This one I you can get for 40 something. It's sin cut. It has a freaking a super duper hollow ground blade. Ooh, she has brown cabinets, just in case you are wondering. Big, big choil. This is the, the sin cut slashkin. David Tooley says we're 26 thumbs ups. What? We're 26 shy of 300. Can hey. you do anything about that? As in you, he means. Yeah. If everyone in the in the chat right now that hasn't hit the thumbs up button, if you'll hit the thumbs up button real quick and get us to 300 real quick, I'll do one more giveaway. Huh. Black appliances, brown cabinets, black wall. Makes it look bigger. Greg also said that's my kind of kitchen. I love everything black. Slashkin with the freaking hollow grind. Chris Hull says like the sin cut. The Sin Cut Slashkin. Shadow. I'll give you a close up. By the way, all the everything you see on the table has been I've produced and edited and released a video on this week. So if you want to get more information about it, like this one right here, 
go go look at go check out my videos from this week. It's climbing. Nineteen more, more, eighteen more, seventeen more. What is this? This is focusing on bees blades. Well, that's who you are. That's who I is. Two eighty three. With the Gaborsha wood. Go with the likes. Hmm. Stacy said my mom had it painted hunter green before that. I'm really into like the hunter green or like the olivey green colors right now. I like hunter green more than olive green. Like OD green is okay. 14 more, 12 more. There's a that's a that's a color scheme of a lot of knives is OD green, olive drab. Chuborsha wood. Guborsha wood. Chuborsha. Chuborsha. It's always Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. You like the top or the bottom? Um, I like the one on the bottom a little more. It's a little little darker, a little, darker. A little more earthy. Yep. I like the earthy tones. Like, like the olive drab is is a little muted. Drabby. Like dusty. It's dusty. It's more of an army color. I'm all about lime green. Well, good thing I don't have lime green on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Show them again. What, my lime green ones? No, the ones you have on. Miss, Mrs. B's. Polka dot days. Or there's always this option. Look at that. A little paint drippage. Those are pretty cool. My house metal roof and shutters. Door, Door is, is Hunter, Hunter Green. Green. Hunter Green, Hunter Green. Back to the knife cam. All right. Um, let's see. What haven't I showed? Oh, this is a brand new. This was just released. You need nine more. Eight more? This was just released. This is the new Corsair. By Vasti. Did anybody see my video on the Corsair? Do you have any questions about the new Vasti Corsair? This has literally only been out like two days, two or three days. Two days. It's the new Corsair. It's very comfortable, very fidgetable. Who's that from? This is Vasti. This is Bees is checking it out. I don't know. How I feel about the pull down situation on some of them. Well, you flip it out like normal, you, but then to put it away, you get used to the pull down. You just haven't carried don't one. Don't tell me what to do. You just haven't carried them. You're not used to them yet, but you were doing it just fine. See there? You like that? Back in your pocket. I I I really like those. And like if I'm out in the garage and I'm cutting a box, when I when I have one of these, I really enjoy. I'll slice through the box and go like this, and it's just easy to put away. Yeah. I, you don't have uh, to. You don't have to turn it and push the the liner lock. Yeah, this one has cat hair all I over. I know. It. I tried to get that off earlier, but I couldn't do it. I was trying to. What was I trying to do earlier? Oh, I was trying to like flick it out with my thumb. I think my thumbs are too weird to be able to do that. It's like it's clicky. Uh, the uh, the somebody said, "What's the one under the black that looks purple?" That is this one, right? Huh? She did it. This is uh, the Chronic, the Savivi Chronic. These are on sale right now. The Chronic Back Pain. The Chronic Back Pain. <laughs> this thing is sweet. I like it. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Mrs. B's would try carrying this because it is very flippy, very, very, it's just comfortable. It's a perfect little knife. It has a hollow ground blade. It's very pokey, very package opening. I think it's a hollow grind. It, Did you ever it feels have like a it. Titanium clip on your blue lock. Blue rich, rich light Towser K. Um, no, I haven't, Craig. I haven't tried it. It's the Savivi Chronic, and these are on. They're on clearance right now. They're on clearance. Clearance. I have a link in the description. If you use that link, it'll take you to Savivi. Stack my five percent code on top of it, and you'll get this for like I. 32, 34 bucks. Cuba wants to know is the Chronic and Imperium re release? Um, is the Chronic and Imperium re release? I don't, not that I know of. Isn't that what I, just I really like the Imperium. The Imperium I thought was discontinued. I have a couple of them, but this is such a good knife. It's Kansas very super just smooth. Four more. I really like the Imperium. I remember I posted a picture on Instagram of the Imperium uh, with uh, little baby chickens in the background at uh, Tractor Supply. 
Uh, Mike McLaughlin said, no, the chronic is more like the X arch. I was just getting ready to read that, but I was yawning. Yeah, yeah. All green oh, all the time. I know why my eyes are dry. It's time to put get a new pair of contacts. I was going to say that or pollen has been high the last three days. Um, that is a lot like a saxy. Oh, speaking of uh, sin cut, this one, this is the newest uh, variant or what's the word I'm looking for? Steve-O says I'm hooked on chronic. Because chronic's hooked on me. <laughs> or phonics. Or phonics. Everyone is of Does alt your account. Face itch right there? No way. Mm, it looks itchy. Oh. It's red. It's probably where the puppy was putting his slobber on me. Oh, um, maybe. So this this is the new version of the crawly. People, some folks didn't want the micarta crawly, so now they have a G10 version, and I believe they also have the JG10. Look at that. That right there. That's how you do G10. Is the purpose of getting a jade color so you can dye it later or do people actually like the jade color a lot of people like the jade color i mean i'm a fan of the jade mrs b's likes the jade but when you get the jade it really opens up your options for dyeing the the scales whatever color you want uh-oh that was weird um so let's see the appalachian drifter is on sale right now this, oh, you know what? This right here, that's a wicked blade. Look at that. I feel like you can break the tip easy, though. Yeah, you'd, you'd, uh, you'd have to be careful and not do any, like, prying with it. Do more. You, you don't want to pry, but this is the Freeze Warncliffe. Check that out. It's got a pretty cool blade on it. Brian F. says, I like the jade, but it always ends up dyed sooner or later. Oh, yeah. Brian F., he... He is the master. If you want any knife changed colors, contact Brian F. Mitten State Modders. Contact him on Instagram. Um, What's the last thing you dyed, Brian F.? What color? He probably dyed something today. I guess theoretically I could get on there and also hit the like button. Oh yeah. Betty Davis said a lot of beautiful blades this week. Tom Sheehan said, I was thinking of picking up a Civivi procession tweezers. It was, it has a very fine pointy tip for small splinters. Dude, I carry a pair with me every day in my small EDC pouch. They're called the Civivi tack and tweeze. And I'm pretty sure I have a link in the description. Just saying I'm the link master. Here's the VV tack and tweeze. Oh, come on. Quit focus it on my hand. Maybe it likes your hand. There you go. These are very precise. You'll never get a better pair of tweezers than these bad boys. Bad boys. Bad boys. Bad boys. Titanium. The camera is wanting to focus on everything today. Here you go. You have 300. We have 300. I hit the like button. Here's the Civivi Tack and Tweez. Big money, big money. Tropical said, I like your nuked fish with three eyes. What? Yeah, I have a little patch. You have a fish with three eyes? Yeah. Isn't there a fish with three eyes in the cartoon you watch? Or am I just thinking of a, cartoon, a fish in a bowl? What? Finally got it to focus what for movie just is a second. That? Or cartoon. I'm going to have to change my lighting around. Maybe it just doesn't like to focus on small things. The current lighting situation, it's okay, but I did better with a light over top. This one, I have to I have to change the, the angle a lot to Is show stuff. Is it The Simpsons? The Simpsons. Is there another one, though? This is what I have in my, in my current pouch. Do you know what I'm talking about? A fishable bowl? Oh yeah, that's a uh, uh, not Family Guy. Futurama. American American Dad. Oh, American Dad. American Dad. Okay. You can see I have my O tackle um, little dealio in there. Oh, Simpsons has a three eyed fish. There's the O tackle, and then I have the new 
bit driver from Obi. Which hand is doing mm. what here? The last thing I died is a pair of Kaiser mini pelicans. One red and one blue. Huh. One red flapper and one blue flapper. I'm telling you what, if you want an EDC pin, a small pin that doesn't take up space to put in a pouch or always to have in your pocket, this newest one is the bee's knees. It's brass and it has more weight to it. And it's a uh, bold action. Uh, somebody saw my uh, saw this my bastion pin in my pocket the other day at work. One of the clerks, she said, "Oh wow, that's really cool." And I said, "Yeah, it's bastion bold action pins." They tried to they tried to pull it up. It was blocked by the work works whatever because it had the words bolt action in it. James Alton says, "I got the red one." I really like the red one. Um, brass monkey. That funky monkey. Do I need to move? Um, I just had the oh, it's right there. Like I can say, I just had it out today. Did you know? Here's the here's the red one mini open. Here and open. It's so pretty. Where's Terry T Rex? I miss Terry T Rex tonight. Terry T Rex. Stephanie said, I want a honeycomb camo on my blade. That would look cool. That would look cool. Jarvis said, I love the new NAF bit driver. I, I have the NAF bit driver at work. Solid steel is great. Uh, L Cap Addict said, Bees, if anyone wants to get that brass Olight pin during the sale, there's just 30 minutes left. Oh, well, there better you go. go. Do it right. Meow, meow. Yep. You better use my link and go now if you want to get you this brass mini o, mini o pin or or if you want to get the new warrior mini three is it open or is it closed <laughs> the mini o pin is closed but if you want to get any of this stuff from olight buddy davis says i got the brass one coming tomorrow yes you're gonna you're gonna love the weight okay so feel this one like you're gonna write with it it's, it's, it's like weightless i'm not a fan of it and then feel this one it's heavy, but I'm still not a fan of it. It's like, it, it's way better. I don't like. It's not something you're going to write with all day. Even just writing a quick a note down, I don't like it. Yeah. Like, I already have an indentation on my finger from just. You hold it that hard? No, I'm not even holding it that hard. I just got weird. Oh, you got weird hands. I got weird hands, man. Yeah. I can't help it. Prado said the Phoenix T6 pin with light is very nice. No bold action, though. G. Rod Pulowski, Pulikowski said, so this is the hive. Dude. Did you put a dry lube? This? Um, no, I haven't yet. Yes, this is the hive. You, Hello. You missed it, man. Bogart, our puppy, was down here for about an hour. He went back upstairs to go to sleep. This is Mrs. B's. Oh, she man. comes down every every uh, live stream at about 10 o'clock. I'm coming slowly. She's working on it. There's Hi. Mrs. B's. And then we were showing the knife cam. We've already done a giveaway and we just got past 300 thumbs up. So if you're just getting here, give us a thumbs up because we passed 300 likes. I'm going to do another giveaway. Another giveaway. Jim Miller said, I got my Olight package today. Forgot to order the, the iMini 2. Just reordered. Um, so the, the new iMini, you know, the little one that you just pull it off and the light comes on. Yes. This, they, they upgraded it. The other one, which is up there, it's like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It takes... Uh, hearing aid batteries. Ew. So you have to replace the batteries. This one is rechargeable. So you have it on your keychain, and after you've used it or you use it, if you want to recharge it, you take it off your keychain and you plug it into any anything USB. Wow. And it charges back up. It's 50 lumens. It is very bright. Fancy. Yeah. And I'll, and you don't have to click it or turn it on. As you throw things. It's magnetic. So does it only turn on when you... Yeah, it only turns on when... Or if you're holding it, you can just pull out like that. <laughs> <laughs> that made Mrs. B's laugh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it comes with this. It comes with the rubber that goes over the, the, the tip. Oh, my. This is a family-friendly show, sir. Talk about a flashlight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mike Applegate said, said, why you, my mama wears hearing aids. It's no, nothing about, it's the, nothing hearing about the hearing aids that you have to replace the battery. Yeah. We go through a lot of batteries in our house. Yes. So 
this one, you don't have to replace the batteries. It is rechargeable. Very convenient. And you just pop it off and it's magnetic. Ken says, Bees doesn't know how to hurry at BFB. Sorry. Are we hurrying? Where are we oh. going to hurry? Um, I probably need to go do a, a hurry, 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 hurry. Stop screen. Um, let me see. Oh, it'll let me draw again. I wonder if it's picking. Um, yeah, but the newbies that just came in, though. Yeah. You have to be fair. All right. So you watch the chat and I'll get this set up. Huh. Yeah, she says my hearing aids are rechargeable. Now, that's that's cool that's right crazy. there. Hey, here's a question. Are your hearing aids Bluetooth enabled? My mom got some and they're Bluetooth. She can literally talk on the phone with her hearing aid. That is the coolest thing ever. I'm, I'm going to get some. David Jewell says you can hear the light turn on and off. I buy all rechargeable batteries. Well worth it. We should. I don't know why we don't. Well, I had I had a few and they were for flashlights. And then I started getting Olight and Olight, all of their flashlights are rechargeable, except for the little ones. So I buy the AAA Amazons. Yes, Top Dog, I'm watching. I need to get some more. Do I need to look away? Those sound like earphones. Or am I supposed to be watching something other than the chat? Oh, I get it. Because he told me, wow, I'm slow. He told me to watch. <laughs> um, so, so give me a, a hashtag, Mrs. Bees. Uh, BFD says I can control the hearing aids from my phone. Oh, no, that is cool. Like you get tired of hearing people talk. You can just get your phone out. But like, um, my wife's hearing aids recharge like regular earbuds and connect with Bluetooth. That is cool. Those are fancy. That is very cool. Um, you can't ask me to think of a hashtag and read my brain camp. So you hashtag I'll read. Um, so if anybody that most of you were in here earlier when I did the last, the last, when I did the last giveaway, right? So all of the stickers that you saw in the last giveaway, all of that stuff is in this one. That'll save us from me having to take 10 minutes just to show you the stickers and the stuff in the swag pack of this, this giveaway that we're getting ready to do right now. You said, wait a minute. Somebody said something funny. Tropical said, you mean not hearing others well is a problem? Man, my ears were ringing all day today. It was awful. My ears ring all the time. I mean, mine, mine do like 25% of the time, but this was like a deep ring, like a, a low tone, my not ears, like a high pitch. Mine always have a very, like right now, I can hear it. Like a mosquito sound? Or is it like lower? E even, even higher. Oh, God. Like a metallic Maybe you should go get that check. But it's it's not it's not like annoying. Maybe you should get a check so we don't have to sleep with a fan on at night. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mrs. Bees is very fortunate and she, I have always slept with a fan and always slept with the fan on high. Oh god. I'll have you know for it's been 2 or 3 years now. I sleep with the fan on low. Yes. I am able to withstand a fan on low. I that was a very good compromise because I could I not, like it full blast like jet engine. I couldn't sleep with sound. I have to have it completely dark and completely silent to fall asleep. Ken and Faulkner then, hears the ring when it's quiet. And then I started dating this guy. And then I married him. And he has to sleep with a fan. And it's awful. Yeah, like every time there's silence, I can just hear the ring. Sometimes See, it's more than others. I but. think my ears ring when there's too much noise. I want the opposites. Not, noise helps drown it out. And you just don't focus on it when it starts bringing, unless it's like real high pitch and painful. <laughs> I sleep with music and a fan, baby girl says. Chapel Cal says, it's called white noise. White noise. Yep. I have a sound generator that helps me. When he, when he gets up early on Saturday morning, when the dog starts barking at what? Five? 6.15. 6.15. 6.15. When I get up at eight, <laughs> I'll go out into the living room. He's on the couch with a blanket over his face and a sound, like a sound fan machine on, on his phone. Yeah. And everyone is just passed out. And I'm like, do I just go back to the bedroom to not wake anybody or? Yes. Yeah, so in a pinch, there is a, a fan app 
and it sounds there's like four or five different fan sounds one of them exactly mimics a box fan it's awful a floor box fan a 20 inch fan has the exact same sound and you can control how loud it is and what the speed is and after i've let the puppy out to go to the bathroom and stuff and he settles back down i lay down on the couch cover up my eyes and turn that on next to my ears next to me to mimic the fan so mrs b's can sleep in Salamina says, I used to sleep with noise. Then I trained myself to sleep in silence. Good to be able to fall asleep in any situation. I agree. I always like, to, I have to go to bed before he does. Otherwise, I just, I notice I don't get a sound of sleep. You don't get into that deep sleep. Yeah. If I get into the deep sleep before he turns the fan on, I'm good. Uh, Craig says, I bought an awesome sound machine. Wicked volume potential and has many options for different sounds. Ooh, somebody just said they got into an Airbnb and they didn't have any fans. Where was that? Uh, we got into an Airbnb this week and they have zero fans in the house. It was our literal sixth level of H-E double hockey sticks. Hey, listen, if you travel and you go somewhere out of town and you get an Airbnb, right? And you travel by plane. Go to Walmart and spend twenty dollars and buy a box fan. It'll be worth it. He It'll may, be worth the twenty dollars. He may or may not have done that. He actually. Took, I brought ours with. Him. He actually took a fan with us on our honeymoon to Mexico. <laughs> I did. It's the truth. I was like, I'm not going to sleep without a fan, so I <laughs> I brought a battery powered fan. No, it was a plug-in. It was your desk fan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Kevin Kirk says, that's why Bees never shuts up. He's afraid of the ringing. Yes, <laughs> it'll get me. Um, what else was I going to say about a fan? Mm. I don't remember. You're a fan of it, then. <laughs> Howard Case says, I have to have music to fall asleep. Now, I do love when it's like a good thunderstorm. I like to fall asleep to that. Maybe yeah, I like, do, like, I like thunderstorms. Maybe you should do thunderstorm sounds on a sound machine instead of a fan. No. Okay. Th then I'd be like, ooh, that was a good one. I was scrolling. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm just going to do this real quick. Um, There we go. Okay. Scroll away, Mrs. Bees. While Mrs. Bees is talking to you all about fans and noise, I'm going to show you what's in... So here's the giant swag pack. The same stuff. Maybe a rain couple on a things. Tin roof. Oh yeah, rain on a tin roof is good. Or yeah. rain on a tent. I like the sound of rain on a tent when you're sleeping in a tent. Now this one has pretty much the same stuff as the last one, but except for this one, you get a Kaiser meat patch. Meat? Yeah. Uh, I'll, okay, when you said the, the knife will will give it away. When you said meat, it's a meat patch. I was thinking like food meat mm -hmm. like meat meat if that makes any sense howard k they're having thunderstorms right now i think we're supposed to have thunderstorms tomorrow which actually worked out really well so we bought a new couch i bought a new couch we i whoever we got a new couch it was supposed to come in today we agreed we're like you know it's too much to do it on friday let's pick it up saturday well, we can't get rid of our old couch until next Wednesday. So we're going to have to stack the old one in the garage, yada, yada, yada. Well, this guy decided to call to see if our couch was ready for pickup. And they're like, oh, well, it's not ready. And they shouldn't have given you a date for pickup because we're not really sure when it comes in. But it might be in here next Wednesday, which yeah. works out perfect because it was supposed to storm all day tomorrow. Moral of the story, we won't have a soggy couch. And it's a good thing someone had the foresight to call and double check. I mean, it's right down the road, so it's not like a... Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be the... Well, no, here's the thing, though. Before we went, we would have had to disassemble our giant old couch, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take it out, and have nothing to sit on in the living room, no, we're... then go at the moment... We had and... two overstuffed chairs we could have put in there. I know, but that's farther oh, down in the conversation. Fine. There's nothing that would have been in there. We would have went and they would have said, you don't have a couch. <laughs> then we would have had to move the table in the kitchen out of the way and move something 
from the family room around past through the kitchen and the hallway to the living room to have something to sit on Kevin until Kirk. Wednesday, maybe if it shows up. Kevin says, send it to Tennessee. We'll put it on the front porch. <laughs> there you go. It wouldn't fit on our front porch. No, it wouldn't. Brian, Brian said, bees use the rain generator so Miss Bees can enjoy and you can still use fan because the rain will drown it out. <laughs> Winning on all angles. So Mrs. Bees can put ear pods in and, and listen to rain and I'll See, listen to the fan. I can't do that because then I'm terrified I'm going to miss my alarm. That's why I never sleep with earplugs in even when you snore really bad. There, it puts more light on the situation. Um, um, I had a thought. What? And I lost it. Man, oh man. Oh, I lobster and never flounder. I don't know. I lost it. My brain. So along with this giant swag pack, you're also going to get a Smoky Mountain <laughs> Knife Works pack. By the way, if you're ever going to get something at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, use my link. Whoa. That boy, that chat just Why? went nuts. What is happening? Um. Oh, people are... Chef Rocky with the five doll hairs. He said, we have a tiny little fan that we have labeled the travel fan just for my sleeping. Love to you and yours. I love the new haircut, beautiful lady. Oh, well, thank you very much, sir. You made her night, chef. That's the bees blade chef right there. Chef Rocky, thank you for the five doll hairs, brother. Um, Yeah, if you're ever going to get something at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, use my link. That way it'll support the channel. I might get a little kickback. Uh, what do you call it? Um, affiliate. Doesn't cost you anything. But here's this uh, pack from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It's playing cards. And it's also, um, oh, wait a minute. Is uh, There's something else. Oh, it's besides playing cards, there's also a, uh, looks like a microfiber, a hank. Playing cards, a hank, and a cloth. I'm not going to open it up, but that's best that I can tell what's in it. So you get, get you some playing cards. 40th anniversary playing cards. Rocky says, I have a thought. I want some candy. Candy. What kind of candy? He wants Chocolate some... or sours or... Speaking of Chinese chicken, um, when I used to live in Fairborn, <laughs> there was this little um, Korean, I think it was a Korean store, and they had all of the Korean stuff. They had like dried fish and all kinds of stuff that Koreans eat. And they had some candy and we would save up our, our money. And when I, after school, uh, we carpooled. And when I would go over to Paula's house, we would save up our change and go and buy this candy in a box. And then the wrapper dissolved in your mouth. It was like rat rice paper or something. But the, it was so cool because the wrapper looked like plastic. But you Nerd would just, clusters. you literally threw the whole candy with the wrapper in your mouth. It was weird because you were throwing a wrapper in your mouth, but it would dissolve. That's weird. Yeah, it was really cool. Then I get biodegradable. Do you have a drumstick and your brain starts ticking? Do you get it? Drumstick. Mm. I don't get it. It's a song. Chinese chicken. Brain starts ticking. I don't know why it's not coming to me. Well, you got problems. Well, folks, something else that I put in this. <laughs> that sounds like acid. Acid? <laughs> Put the candy in your mouth and the wrapper dissolves. Oh, <laughs> that's why we had to save up our money. We were always buying that. Bees, it's called Bolton Rice Candy? Botton? Botton? Baton Botton. Rice Candy. Botton. Yeah, I remember rice was, it, something was rice. I thought that the I wrapper was rice. I read real Chickadee the Chinese Chicken. Chickadee. Chum, drum, chumba Wumba. You have a drumstick and your brain won't stop ticking. We can start ticking. Sean Zalewski with the five doll hair said, "Better get my last donation for tonight." Sean with the five doll hairs. Did you get that song? As I was saying it. What was it? Oh, I was reading somebody's post. Oh. They were singing the song for you. As I was awkward. Where's it at? Down. Mm -mm. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. Watch the next files with the lights on. We're, we're Dana, Danzilla Mason. Hope the smoky man's in this. Uh, that's a, uh, so, that's the uh, Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, Smash Mouth? No. Who, who sings that? I don't know. 
Another that's, Chumbawamba. That's, oh my gosh, that's now it's all clicking. Thank you. Slow oh tonight. <laughs> all right. So in this giveaway, someone's gonna get the new iMini rechargeable that I've been showing you all night. Bare naked ladies. Bare naked ladies. There you go. Who's Chumbawamba? Uh, I get knocked out. Those people. I get knocked down. Whatever. Same thing. But I get up again. <laughs> Bare naked Chumbawamba. Oh my golly. <laughs> <sighs> But uh, you're going to get the iMini 2, and this is, you're getting the, the green one. There you go. The green shows up better back here. It's brand new in the box. This is, they sent me two, and this one we're giving away. Why are you Tourette'sing out with your fingers? I don't know. I'm just tappity tapping it. Oh, my. And then this is the Civivi keychain. It is a pry bar from Civivi, as Nick Shabazz. Hey, everybody. Nick here. I wondered what that was. It's I a, opened it and I was like, Meh. It's a Civivi keychain with a Civivi pry bar. Look at that. And that's just the coolest thing ever. I have one of these on my keychain. So that way you don't break the tip off your knife when you got to pry some. Ginger Fisher says bare naked Oompa Loompas. Bare naked Oompa Loompas. I kind of want that pry bar. Uh, VCR fine says. Brand new, and I'll be giving another one of these away next week, too. So there's that. That is cool. So there's that from Civivi. And last, last but not least, if you want to know what this knife looks like, I'm not going to take it out of the box because I reviewed it. It was on the channel this week on my Obi video. Justin Ohio says my eyelids are so heavy. Well, hold them open. This is the O knife Chital, C H I T A L. The O Knife Chital, brand new. I put it back in the box. I know you spell that specifically for me. Right there. But I. C H I T A L. C H I T A L. So there you go. You get a Chital. And if you want to know the, the more about this one, you can use, you can go to Obi with my link, or you can watch the video of me talking about the Chital. <laughs> David Julie says, Craig Bunce never wins. Bunce, Bunce. Is that how you say your last name? B U N C E, Bunce? Mm hmm. Bees Google bare naked Oompa Loompas. I dare you. No, I ain't going to do it. Brian F suggested that. You would, Brian F. All right. Bill M says, I have drank a pot of coffee and fell asleep while holding the cup. Trust me, I woke up fast when the coffee spilled on me. It's a rough day. Steve Owen said, I should tall all the time. <laughs> should tall. Pedro Armstrong said, see that building? That's should tall. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Webb, uh, how do you win? Uh, I'll tell you right now. Now, now is your last chance. Um, you do this. Sounds like bunts. You comment Chinese chicken. If you've already commented once, don't do it again. People tend to think it helps their odds. It. I ha, I am in the belief that it worsens your odds. What? B U N T S. Bunts. Bunts. Sounds like bunts. Yeah. Craig. Craig. Yeah. Craig's last name. Yeah. <laughs> Dwayne K said someone said a reply to me on a post about the song T R O U B L E covered by Travis Tritt that Elvis didn't do it. He said, sorry, dude. I told him, yes, he did. Actually, two songs named Trouble. Hmm. Hmm. Butts. Seymour Butts. Cake Butts. Chinese chicken. Chinese chicken. A few more people got in on it. May the odds be in my favor. Share screen. Let's pull it up. Um, first, before I do that, we're going to take, take off the knife cam for the moment. Do, 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 do. Hi, B for Baron. B for Baron. I mean, I think he's been in here for a while. I just wanted to say hi to him. I just like repeating you. For some reason, I really like his username. B for Baron. His brother. I think it's his brother. He's usually in here sometimes, too. Greg Maroney said, have y'all tried buttermilk pie? No. <laughs> Christopher Willing said, winning like Charlie Sheen. B Edmund wanted to make a point to say, I never win. All right, here we go. Chinese chicken. Let's see Prado. who's going to win. Prado says, oh, crap on the wall. Who flung poo? What'd you do? 
Oh no. No. I'm I'm not gonna pull the plug on this. See, StreamYard it StreamYard is messed up. It says entries 56. Will you scroll down a little? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it because there's way more people in here than that. StreamYard, what is your problem? Okay, you can scroll back the other direction now. Why can't you just have everyone just type it real quick? Well, hold on. I'm going to try something. Oh, hang on, everybody. I'm going to try something. I was about to say something, but I didn't say it. What are you doing? All right, you read while I try something. Yeah, that's wrong. They can't see this. I just clicked draw and nothing happened. Chinese chicken. Um, I've been taking yeah. sleep meds because some unknown reason. A lot of people are typing in Chinese chicken. I feel like a lot of people are typing that in. Um, Prave24 says, hey, y'all, watch this. Famous last words. Pretty much. General Meow's chicken. <laughs> That's sad. General Meow Meow's chicken, please. What happens if we all type it again? Um, Kung Pao, extra yeah, spicy. Every, everybody type it again, and I'm going to keep the stream, the screen pulled up and see if it counts everyone. Because taco, 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 all caps. StreamYard does something where it, like, it starts counting people and then it stops. Okay, now it's counting. It's counting. And I don't know if it, it just gets overloaded. Okay, it's Do counting. Do I need to chicken up again? Yes. Yes. Yes, now it's counting like it's supposed to. I'm just going to keep it pulled up. So Mr. Mrs. B's will watch the chat, and I'm going to keep this window open. Why am I watching? What could possibly go wrong? Because I have a theory that if you don't have the window open and actively watching or have it open, that it doesn't count them as well. I mean, I'm watching, but it's... I. It's Chinese chicken with a couple comments that go by so it's fast. It's deducting I can't read duplicates it. by people. Uh, yeah, makes me wonder. Is there a timer? No. No, there's not a timer. Just I just the timer of your brain. It's just really weird. Dun, dun, dun. Ears are delicious. Random fun fact. Okay. See if it goes down. What are we watching? No, it's just very slow to react. See now it's now it's working. Because before it said 56 people had entered, and I know there's 200, at least 200 people in here. So I was not going to pick it with only 56. Now the entries are going up like it's supposed to. Big money, big money. Unless you hardcore, unless you're hardcore and use a VPN. They were saying that it should deduct by duplicates, and then someone said it should deduct by IP address. It's like voting for president. Good night, Robert Feely. Hold on, Robert. I'm getting ready to do this drawing. Two more minutes. Maybe. Uh, LCAP said your browser may, maybe stops running the script and affects StreamYard. Um, you know, it's it's possible. And here's the thing. You can't refresh it. <laughs> if you hit refresh, it goes away. Carrie J says 211 orders of Chinese chicken, please. How many times? Uh, G-Rod, only once. Just once. You only what, need to do it one time. What wasn't I supposed to see? Someone give the StreamYard app a Red Bull. Yeah. How many times can you enter? Just once. Yeah, just once. Um, yeah. Uh, so here's something I'm going to do is if if people, if you, if these bladers start watching my videos more and... Do we Hitting still the have thumbs that up button. Dirty candy. Dirty and candy. I don't know if we have any of that I left. I called it dirty. <laughs> dirty candy. Um, if the channel can make a little more money, then I am going to upgrade. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to upgrade our internet speed. Let me upgrade. Jeff. And I'm going to go Ethernet and not Wi Fi anymore. There's I no have an back. Ethernet cable. Huh? What? I have an Ethernet cable that I'm going to run down to here. And it will make this everything run better. We're going to drill a hole in the floor. Uh, no, I'm going to run it through the wall. I'm going to do it right. Good idea. Let's not drill any more holes. Um, don't know. Yeah. See, but by keeping this screen up, it, it is counted. Cyber. Sleepy time tea. 
PNW said, I was trying to slip in the ears comment without being caught. Your eyes are too good, Mrs. B's. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. It's because it's the glasses. G Rod said, Hot wire, way to go. Yeah, I was talking to the IT guys at work and they said, Definitely, you're going to be a lot better. Make B's, sure what's still. Cat 7 or Cat 8 for your Ethernet. Ethernet? Whatever. Cable. Matthew Baum said, B's, what steel is best for Spyderco Para 2, regardless of price? Dude, uh, that's, that's, that's another whole conversation in itself. Because you can get like the 4V that's that's like super tough. I don't know what all steels the pair of two comes in. Ethernet is much more reliable. That is a weird word for my ears. I don't like it. The Ethernet. It's kind of like the intranet. Make sure it's Cat 7 or Cat 8. I don't like that one either. Chris Hole said S45VN. Q-Ball says, Derek, you misspelled Chinese. Better re respell it, Derek, real quick, because I'm getting ready to draw. Scott Webb says, big hole on the wall. Gonzo clones of Spider-Co, G-Rod said. Craig says, I heard someone ask what the cluck is going on. Cluck? No one really ever knows. Interweb, internet, intranet. All right, you all have had plenty of time. We're going to do this. Okay, let's do it. All right, ready? Share screen. Derek just got his Chinese chicken order in. There you go. And here we go. Off to the races. Who is going to win all of this stuff? I don't know. The winner How is... Is, table? It is... T Fetch. T Fetch. Congratulations. T Fetch. You have your name up in lights and fun. The internet is a series of tubes. Congratulations, when I, T Fetch. When I hear T Fetch, I think of a golf tee plus a dog fetching a ball. Oh, yeah. That's what I think of when I hear that. That makes sense. So, T Fetch, send me a screenshot of your, your YouTube channel sign in so I know it's you. And then your mailing information, and we'll get the stuff mailed out to you. Man, this T is so cool. T-Fetch did just say, whoa. Whoa. T-Fetch, you now have seven pounds of stickers and keychains and a, a light and a pry bar and a knife. A knife. That's not a knife. This is a hatch. Isn't that a hatchet? It's a hatchet. <laughs> it's a hatch. That has a spidey hole. Yeah, you can you can spin it around. You can thumb thumb flick it. Good night. And it has a bump right here, so you can use it up close if you want to. It's really comfortable to hold up here and back here. It has it has the little the little uh, divot in the back right here. So if you're doing a full swing, but I really like how it has this right here, and it's very well chamfered. But you can get up here close and do some choppity chop chop or some hammering. See, it has a hammer. Mm. Hammer. A meat. Hammer. When so, I see that, I just think of like those meat hammers. Yeah, it looks like a meat. It looks like a uh, tenderizer. Yeah, that's the word. Looks like a meat tenderizer. How about a 24 ounce hammer? I guess it's time for me to actually pay attention to my job. <laughs> Betty Davis said, I can't. Eve ever win any single time. Betty Davis, just make sure every time you chat, you say, I never win because those folks always end up winning. Your odds are good. Sometimes we do a couple giveaways. Sometimes we do more. As it is now, we have like 10 or 11 packages to mail tomorrow. NAF Collector says, I have or, to sign off so I can take a little puppy out for her nightly business before bedtime. Puppy! All right, Bees, Mrs. B. It's hammer time. Hammer time. Hammer. Sebastian said, just finished the On Patrol Live. Now live at the Hive. What's up, Sebastian? Uh, Salamando said, it's now it's now superstition to say I never win. I never in? I, I never win. Say win. Tropical said, I never won. Then I won twice in one year. See? It, it just You just never know. Uh, Mrs. B, you got any, any uh, final thoughts or any, any words of wisdom for the night? Uh, good night. I uh, hope you had a great week. I hope you have a good weekend. If you have bad weather coming, stay safe. If you're out west and it's hotter, hotter than heck, make sure you drink water. Uh, love you all. Have 
a good weekend purchase what's in your shopping cart. If nothing's in your shopping cart, add a few things and purchase it anyways. You heard her. That's what I said. I said it and I don't take it back. I'm going to the UK. What? I'm going to go to the UK. I like what James did there. What James he, do? He said, have a good night. Be safe, Mrs. Bees. Bees and, and he put your, uh, hey, your logo up there. Sticky. How about that? All right. Good night, y'all. Two tunnels. Good show. Good night. Love you twos. Love your channel. Thank you, Justin Ohio. Um, T Fetch said, I emailed you. Is that what I need? Yeah, that's what that's all you gotta do is email, email me and send take a picture or a screenshot of your YouTube sign-on channel so, so I know it's you. Um, so thank you everybody that donated channel memberships tonight. And congratulations, all new channel members. And Thank you, everybody, for hanging out Friday night and for watching all the videos. And when you do watch a video, if it's not a knife you don't care to care to see or you don't like the knife, do me a favor. Just turn the volume down. Let the video play all the way through. That matters more than you could ever know. If you want to support the channel and you're not able to do super chats or send cashola, that is one way you can help support the channel. Because if every one of you that's in here watching right now watches a video, when it plays, even if you're not interested in the knife, if you let it play all the way through and give it a thumbs up and just say, hello, bees, that right there will help support the channel because it pushes the channel out to get more views and more people will see the ads and I might get 10 cents. So make sure you do that. That will support the channel and show your love for bees blades. But thank you everybody that donated tonight. I really appreciate you. And thank you everybody for hanging out because you make Friday night so freaking fun. So much. So much fun. And then, of course, we'll be back next week with another Bees Blades live at the Hive. Now, remember, 